Uh, so I've been playing Baldur's Gate 3 for what feels like months now. <laughs> it literally feels like months. Uh, but it has just been... There's been, like, some ups and downs, but overall, uh, morning, it's just sir. been a fucking fantastic experience. I've loved this game. I've loved this game. Let's do it. Uh, the last thing we did, last thing we did in Baldur's Gate is, uh, we just killed, uh, Orin. We've killed Gortash and Orin. We have all the three stones. Also, the, the Emperor gave us that warning of, like, hey, uh... If you, uh, if you go into this, uh, if you go into this, this is it. This is the end, right? If you go confront the brain. So, to me, that was like, this is the point of no return. This is it. Yeah, yeah, the, the point of no return warning. So, that seems like that's, like, towards kind of the end of the game. What am I doing my no hit? I did not kill Gale. Wrong. I did not kill Gale. Orin killed Gale, and there was nothing I could do about it. Wrong. Also, hey, we've actually, uh, we've been here, which is cool, kind of. Uh, let us continue. We're in the Ball Temple. He died of a broken heart. I realized I could have talked to him, but uh, he, uh, we may have, we may have misplaced the body slightly, GM so Bart, I didn't get, I get a chance to talk to him. Hope. Didn't get a chance to talk to him. Uh, Yuki Griff, thank you for the tier three sub. Really appreciate that. Yeah, didn't quite get a chance to talk to him. Um... So, we're going back up. I didn't know if all these ball bitches are going to attack me, too. I suppose we'll find out. Started playing BG3, and man, it's deep. And these ball so bitches much are to attack do me. in choices. She's Lots of fun. Destroyed. I guess these ball bitches aren't going to attack me, huh? All right, fair enough. Uh, Soul Reaver, thank you for the 37 months. Thank you, Soul Reaver. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much. I, I literally chaos. thought every single one of these guys was going to attack me here. Uh, Bass Vader, thank you for 49 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, dude. I should probably just, like, warp out of here, I guess. Is what I should do. Uh, no. Yeah. Let's see. So, let's take a look at our quests. You're playing Pillars to fill your CRPG fix. Thank you, Bass. Uh... That's their kink. They love it. Yeah, I guess they're all cool with it. Uh, with all three netheries, nether stones in your possession, it's time to go to the Morphic Fault Pool and face the Elder Brain. We should head to the sewers. Gather your allies. Uh, let's see. Recruit allies. So we have... Um, we have some friends, I guess. We really don't have a lot of allies, do we? <laughs> Uh, let's see. So we did all of this. And um, let me look at the map here. Temple of Ball. Find the Stone Lord. Escape the deal. Uh, which one's this one? Oh, that's the Elder Brain. So that's where we don't want to go. We don't want to go there yet. I also cannot travel from this place, so we got we got to keep we got to keep going forward. I can only imagine at camp everybody's gonna want to talk to me about how Dale died. You could ask Dale for help. I mean, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. You act like I killed him. I may have thrown his corpse, but I didn't kill him. He was already dead. Not my fault. I'm blameless. Dale the diver. He died of pocket sand. It really felt like the AI knew. He, it's like the AI knew they were about to die. So like, hang on, let me see if I can kill Gale real fast. It really felt like the AI was like, hang on, hang on. I think I can kill Gale real, real quick here. Uh, there's a chest up here I never went to. You made 80k on a Wordle. I'll take that. Potion of Feather Fall. Sure, I'll take that too. Who killed Dale? Oren, the murder, the murder bitch. Uh, so I guess let's go back up to the... Alder's Gate, the Undercity Basilisk Gate. Let's go here. Evening Diver later? Evening Diver, what does that mean? 
pulled the bar and took him down. Yeah, he really did. He really did. Uh, okay, so House of Grief. We did all of that already. Um, you can go to this. Aid the Underduke. Find the Stone Lord at the Counting House. That's to the south. Uh... And there's escape the deal. I'm not sure what the hell sick the Diabolus thing is. That's like to the north of here. I don't, I don't know what that is. There's a quest that chat has been nonstop haranguing me to go do. There's a quest that you guys have been fucking like harassing me to go do. I want to go do it. I want to do it. I just don't know what the quest is or where it is. But yeah, you guys have been harassing me to do it. You should do it for sure. Yeah, I don't know which one's which. So wait, is it in the factory? Is that where it is? Like in the factory? I don't know what it is either. You should definitely do it. The devil. Yeah, I decided to uh, side with Satan. Also, we just use Karlak a lot. I want to get the uh, Asterion back too. Hang on, let's go to camp. I want to go to camp. I want to get a, I want to get a Sterion back. I miss a Sterion. Um. AKA Dracula. Yeah, I want I want a Sterion back. Hell's take that ball freak. She would have bled the whole world just for the fun <laughs> of it. We've got her Netherstone now. Yeah, he's like uber Satan, right? Under control. Okay, I yeah, great. I need you to copper for your thoughts. Uh, stay in camp for a while. Oh, come on. You don't mean. Oh, fine. Although I will tell you this, I think she has uh her sword is really good. I think if she hits the enemy, it like uh drains their HP. We may want her for like a final battle or something, but I do I miss a I miss a Sterion. Good riddance to the shape changer. Couldn't have happened to a worse wretch. Okay. Need something? Did you my party? Darling, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Lead on. I like, dude, I like Asterion so much. How do you not want Asterion in your party? Uh, let's see. Can, uh, just drop that. Drop that. I think I have another sword I could give. Ooh, yeah. See, look. Can Asterion, um... Can you power stance these? So he's got Crimson Mischief now. He's got Rhapsody. Uh, and Crimson Mischief. He's, like, power stancing them. That's pretty cool. So Crimson Mischief does, like, a whole bunch of additional damage. When you make an attack with advantage target takes an additional seven piercing damage. That would be really good. I should actually uh, swap these, I think. Oh, we also have this one, Bloodthirst. Interesting. Okay, I don't know. I don't know which Asterion weapon should go where. Um, this weapon seems like it wants to be in your main hand because check it out. When you make an attack with advantage, you get additional seven piercing damage. If we like swap them, so that's good. What is, so I have Rhapsody, which does uh, plus one to attack rolls, damage, and cell spa uh, spell save. If like bleeding when hitting a creature with this weapon while hiding or invisible. So that would also be really good with a sneak attack. When a creature misses you with a melee attack, you may retaliate and gain true strike. Um, I don't know how this compares. I feel like Rhapsody is a little better here, right? I think Rhapsody could be a little better. I don't know. Have we checked merchants for gear? Uh, I feel like I could actually use some rings or something. I feel like I could actually use some stuff. Uh, Yukon Dropout, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, dude. Um, I think I can also drop this. I have like a bunch of stuff I don't need. Havel's ring. Oh, the needle is extra weight. Scroll of evidence. It's like it's been carrying around this random shit for a while. Alright. Let's go. 
you want more crit, use legendary. If you want more hits in general, use Rhapsody. I think Rhapsody is going to be my better choice there for sure. Uh, all right, so we're going to leave camp. Half the rings in this game are worthless. Well, they're kind of like specific per build, right? I don't know where I would like go buy rings, honestly. I'm not sure where I would. Breathe deep and move. Devil's Fee. Seems like oh, hey, moment to this talk. is the guy I we're looking for. Thee to the, or the, the girl we're looking for, anyway. Every hellish curio's a rarity. So merry be and shop with glee. Uh, did you see the, the Planet of the Apes trailer? I saw it's like Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, right? Um, you know what? Many years ago, when they did the Planet of the Apes movies, I was like, why are they remaking this shit? Like, this is going to be terrible. Like, leave Planet of the Apes alone. Uh, bro, the Planet of the Apes, the, the Planet of the Apes trilogy, the remake movies that they did, those are actually good movies. Those are actually good movies. Not the Tim Burton one. The Tim Burton one is terrible. Uh, but Planet, the Planet of the Apes movies, those are actually decent movies. I think the first two are really good. The third one, I think, is, like, not as good. But they're worth seeing. They're worth seeing. So, you know, I, I'll, I'll say maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be good. I don't know. Let's see what you've got to offer. Excellent decision. Yeah, they're, they're, believe it or not, they are actually good movies. No bullshit. Uh, hang on. You have, like, uh, how much are these, anyway? Oh, that's pretty cheap. I'll take all the. I I always like having potions of healing. Coin and time, most fortuitously spent. It is a it is a bit of a title. Uh, hang on. I still have to talk to you about something. No, no, no. Talk to her. Why do you have to go behind the counter to talk to her, idiot? Your esteemedness returns. Oh, joyous hour. Did you have Lord Gortas receive some hellish curios by any chance? You must be awfully familiar with our esteemed Archduke to know about a thing like that. There's three of them, so they're, we're not talking about the uh, Tim Burton uh, Planet of the Apes. That movie was fucking dog shit. We're talking about the uh, the other ones they made. The first one was with uh, James uh, Franco and uh, John Lithgow and Andy Serkis. Starting with those, those three movies, really, really good. Uh, let's see. We're old colleagues. I'm asking the questions my, here. My. Touchy subject, I see. Very well. Yeah, yeah. You seek answers. Lord Mammon seeks coin. I will happily mediate. Make me an offer. Uh, it's customary for any salesperson to offer a free sample. I think I have, uh, I think I have a lot of charisma. We'll try it out. Yeah, I have a lot. Sure. There we go. Riz Lord. The first hit's free, eh? Oh, fine. I'll humor you, mortal. Just this once. You stand before Mammon's picklock, latch keeper of the nine hells. My business is not information, nor hellish curios. Not really. I break people into the hells. That's my thing. I can reveal to you that I opened a portal for Lord Gortash. Uh, what business did Gortash have in the Hells? Raphael told me the Crown of Cars was stolen from Mephistopheles. Were you aware of that? Raphael. That sounds vaguely familiar, but I have a terrible memory for names. The only thing that jogs is coin. Uh, Zvenenator, thank you very much. Pay one gold. <laughs> Come now, don't be miserly. Pay 100 gold. Burazma! Uh, Zvenator, thank you for the 11 months. Thank you very much. Pam Pam, Austin. thank you for the sub. Yes, you are quite correct. The Crown of Carsus left the vault, and an opportunity opened for a devil named Raphael. His House of Hope is furnished with a great deal of treasures 
many related to Carsus. But alas, he lacks the crown itself. He's rather ambitious. One can only wonder what he has planned for the crown. Hmm. The answers to that can probably be found. We already know his, his plan is to dominate the hells with the crown, Looks right? Like we owe Raphael a semi-friendly visit. We already know, right? Can you help me break into the House of Hope? What a fascinating proposition. Ludicrous, of course, but fascinating nevertheless. Very well. If you wish to die in Avernus, that's your business. Mine is charging you for it. Of course, such a task will Sub require Zoltama. quite the substantial donation to Lord Mammon's coffers. 20,000? Be tantamount to suicide. Do not even entertain it. Wave the fee and I'll add one of Raphael's artifacts. Intimidation. You'll have that price or I'll have you. Good morning. Uh, hang on. Wave the fee and I'll add one of her, one of his artifacts to your collection. Ooh, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. We have a chance. Uh, flip. Thank you for the 33 months. Thank you very much. Riz Lord. Riz my way in. <laughs> Charisma. You put me in a difficult position, mortal. You are almost certain to fail. Almost. And so, there is a chance you might succeed. Fine. I'd like to be able to carry all of my precious stock without the need of a team of oxen. There are gauntlets of hill giant strength within the House of Hope. Free passage, and you fetch them for me. Those sound really good for me, actually. Yeah. I might take those myself. Deal. Allow me to outline how this is going to work. First, you were never here. We never spoke. Second, you will perform the rites yourself. I want absolute deniability. Here's the grimoire and necessary components. Oh, take this key, too. It unlocks the ritual room upstairs. There's a blood circle already drawn. Don't ask whose blood. Along with the grimoire and components, Helsic hands you a note containing precise instructions for... What a paladin. Nature. I did break my oath. Finally, you were never here. That is of utmost... My vows are already broken, dude. <laughs> now be gone. It's Gale's blood, yeah. Okay. Something, something, something upstairs. Uh, there's also apparently a hatch down here, huh? Kind of curious what's in the hatch. Okay, well. How did you break it? Uh, I broke my oath when I let Asterion become, like, Ultra Satan. Apparently, apparently they don't like that. But Asterion is cool, though. <laughs> in my defense, I wanted to see it. Unlocked. L6 key. Yeah, yeah. That you reconsider this course of action. Whatever you expect to gain from the hells is not worth the risk of trouble. Uninvited. Yeah, yeah. Bullshit, bullshit. Uh, let's see. Glass. Hang on. There's a pair. We get some. We can get some uh, stuff here. Hang on. Take that pair. That's my pair. She's gonna be looking for that pair later. She's keeping rotten chicken eggs in here. All right, so this is the thing here. Uh, do we think Asterion can maybe lockpick some of this stuff? Hang on. Uh, lockpick it. You paid for the room, you get the fruit. Yeah, well, Asterion may be able to lockpick his way in. The wand. Oh yeah, I did that, but then I I, I save scum and went back on that. Use these tool. Ooh, a diamond. Eh, are really they worth it? Okay. Never a dull moment. Yeah, I'm gonna take her mug of beer too. I feel like the most valuable thing in the game is uh. Okay, so wait. How do we do this? Let me look at my stuff. The most valuable thing in this game is camp supplies. <laughs> Opening a Hellgate. 
Place ritual and place the skull on the star point near the altar. Place the coin of Memon on the next point to the right. Uh, place the skull on the star point near the altar. What skull? There's a skull here? Is this also the altar? Um, do I need a skull? Yeah, open. Oh, okay, got you. Coin of Mammon. So then what is the altar then? Hang on, Asterion, can you uh, lockpick this one too? Here, lockpick. Hope you took notes. And guidance. Look at all the stuff we can steal here, man. What I think is the allies you made along the way. Oh, the, oh, is this like more shit? I guess you could like maybe perform it yourself. A purple worm gullet, huh? Well, I mean, I guess. Let me look at. Let me look at the note again. Let's see. Skull on the star point near the altar. Um, I have a lot on my mind. So I guess this well, is the altar maybe. and this is the star point, right? So that means that the skull... Uh, let's see. Drop. Where'd the skull go? Oh, there it is. Skull goes here. Ah, okay. That's correct. It said the uh, the next thing was the coin of... I like that they make you do this yourself. Coin of Amon on the next point to the right. Uh... Can you... Can I see it? Where is it? I thought I dropped the coin of Mammon. I don't see it. What if you do it backwards? Uh, I don't know. I'm holding alt. I'm holding it. It's not in here anymore. Asterion is on it. Asterion, you fuck. You're standing on the goddamn coin. <laughs> what a piece of shit. Uh, Star Lord, thank you for the 35 months. Thank you very much. Counting clockwise, skip a point and place the diamond on the next one. So. You skip this point and put the diamond here. Okay. Ask for seconds. Oh, let me uh, go ahead and save. Is Helldivers working for me today? Uh, I tried loading it this morning and it didn't load again. It's actually, it's back to crashing on uh, like right, right away again. Uh, place the ends on the point that follows the diamond. Okay. Go drop. Incense. And what's the last thing we have to do? Place the infernal marble on the center of the star. Man, the, can you fuck off, dude? Leave me alone. Let me let me fucking talk to Satan. Okay, here, let's save. I want to go. I want to go drop in on Satan and see what's up. Are you sure you want to go to the House of Hope? I am sure. Another step the Pillar of Souls. Okay, where the fuck are we now? Yeah, I took the deal. I'm not even sure. I, I guess. Does the game think I'm going to betray? I don't really want to betray Raphael. I think Raphael is pretty cool. Let's see what I guess. Let's see what he's got to say. He came. Such a shame. Curiosity killed all the cats. It won't be so kind to you. As the woman speaks, you hear a distant rattle of chains. 
and she winces in pain. <sighs> the jailer will hear us. I shouldn't be talking to you. I must go. It's not kind to me. The figure flickers and starts to dim from view, but you sense she could be convinced to return. Maybe I can help you be free of whoever's hurting you. The figure shimmers brightly. Your words seem to have piqued her curiosity. I hope so. But it is a faint hope. Just like me. I can't leave. I could only suffer. But I'm supposed to do that in silence. Everyone here hates me for what I am. I'm the thing that kills you and the only reason you're alive. Made by a promise. Undone by the truth. A handshake, a hug, the first beat of a newborn's heart. I am hope. What little is left of her. A guttering candle in a universe of night. I'm not much of a friend to anyone anymore. But I could use a friend myself. I can fix her. Do you want a friend to guide you through this madhouse? I hear the jailer. It hears me. It'll call Raphael, make every question kind. Make some of them kind twice. Okay, so. This place must house our contract with Raphael. If hope points the way, we might take it and shred it. Seems like the game really doesn't want me to have a contract with Raphael. <laughs> Need to find my contract. Can you help? Caveat venditor. Big mistake coming here while Raphael holds all the cards in his The course. game is like begging me like, but yeah, you mistakes, really shouldn't. Correct bigger mistakes. Like scribbling your signature in the first place. Silly little noise. But yes, hope can help. Your contract is here in this house. It's... You hear a sound like the rattle of a chain and an agonizing scream in your head as hope flickers from view momentarily. Shh. Even you, especially me. And that makes them dangerous, but it also Good makes timing, them Jackie. Stupid. I'll make you seem as ruined as the rest of the people here. A simple glamour to make you a terrible wretch. <laughs> now whisper your questions, little wretch. But really quiet and very clever. Concentrate. Prepare to speak in your f finest stage whisper. Oathbreaker. Recall the silence in your soul after your oath was broken. Uh, I guess this one. So, chat, I was, um, so I'm obviously like still, I don't really know that much about Baldur's Gate, like in terms of like the mechanics and stuff. I'm missing out on some crazy shit paladins have, right? I'm missing out on some fucking wild shit. And I basically never used it. Is that right? Yeah, like there's some stuff that paladins are supposed to do. Uh, also critical failure. Why don't we go ahead and roll that one again? <laughs> there we go. Both breakers are their own thing. Yeah, nat one. Like what? Um, like auras, there are auras of like protection and stuff that I never have on the auras, right? Remember, quiet as a mouse. I did not play Final Fantasy VII without Materia bullshit. Where will I find my contract? The same place you'll find your sorry little soul when Raphael rips it out. <laughs> Yeah, see, I don't have those on. The paper cage for your Barb got none. Such a tiny thing, but it's one of his favorites. In the archive down the corridor past the debtors. Oh, the debtors. They won't like you. But I like you. I know I do. I think I do. I hope I do. I just need to ask one question, and I'll know for sure. What is it? Can you save me? Please, 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 please. 
Uh, if I can, I will. What needs to be done? All right. You have to listen very, very, very closely. I will say this only once. Find the key. Take the contract. Smash my chains. Find the key. Take the contract. Smash my chains. Find the key. Take the contract. Smash my chains. Once you take the contract, the fire will come. And Raphael, you must run, run, run. But don't forget me. Please, please, please. I don't want to burn. Not again. The rattle of chains echoes louder from unseen places. Uh huh. And without can I, uh, can I long sun, rest here at all? <laughs> I got a curiosity, can I? Indebted disguise. Oh, you can't long rest here, can you? Don't think so. Yeah, you can't. Uh, oh, I could like. Uh, let's see. What are our spells like? I feel like I should probably long rest, so I can just use this portal anytime. Oh, I can use this portal like anytime. Okay, cool. I got you. So why don't we go and do a long rest? Kind of want to get all my spell slots and everything back. Minus two thousand gold. Uh, let's see. I, I have a feeling everybody wants to talk to me. Good morning, we'll find out, though. Nope, nobody wants to talk to me. Apparently, everybody's pretty chill about Gale dying. <laughs> everybody's pretty chill about it. Uh, Reef, thank you for the 29 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, everybody's pretty okay with it. Who? Dale. The, the Dale guy, whatever. Von Roth, Dave, thank you for the 62 months. Reef, thank you for the sub. Thank you guys, appreciate that. Okay, so if I go to passives. So one of them is this aura of protection. So that means we're all, we have plus two to saving throws, right? Is there another aura? What's good, last time watching you were fighting Temple of Shar. Oh yeah, we're way past that now. That was a long time ago. Is there another aura? What's the other aura? There are many auras. You can only have one active at a time. Is there a way to look at my auras here? Is there a way to look at them? Aura of bludgeoning. There's an oath. I don't know where. Where do you where do you see those? Are they like listed here or something? Ooh, I have a blinding smite. You can cast restore vitality to heal yourself and your allies. So wait, so this is. Um, Get rid of command. I never use that. I feel like I never use aid either. Uh, let's turn on blinding smite. I have a searing smite, shield of faith. Five bonus HP to everybody. Uh, it's the class actions up top. Let's see. So I have aura of protection, aura of hate. So two slashing damage deal with melee weapons. That seems like it kind of sucks. Now, aura of courage. That one seems really good. So how do you, uh, how do I turn on aura of courage? That one seems really good. Uh, Aw, Kelna, thank you for the 47 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Branding smite. Click it. Aura of courage. I don't think it works. It's in your hot bar near Paladin. Um, I don't see it. The bar on the bottom. Right. Like I see this. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I can turn this on so we can't be frightened. 
we actually have aura of protection and aura of courage that's all that's all good stuff i may i may as well have those on right um daylight searing smite I really want to put on bless. Um, I guess we already have this one on. I suppose I'll turn on searing smite or something. Or shield of faith wouldn't be bad either. Turn on the third. There's one more between. Is there another aura here? Now let's see. Need to rest for all these changes to take effect. I have one more. Or what's the other aura I have? Yeah, I was just thinking that searing smite, like anything relating to fire would not be very good here, would it? That's what I was thinking too. It's down there. Down there with the other icons. There's, there's the whole screen is icons. <laughs> it's with the other icons. So we already have that. We have aura of protection, divine sense, lay on hands, dreadful aspect, aura of hate. Are you talking about aura of, we, we already have, you're talking about aura of hate? Is that what you mean? Aura of Hate does an additional two slashing damage with melee weapons. So I can I can just have this on permanently. We can just have this on permanently. I wonder what my aura was before. Like I so had another- So when are we going through the Halo Infinite campaign, Barb? Smiley face. I guess that only applies to me, huh? I could have had these on all the time. Uh, Tidarium, thank you for eight months. Thank you, Tidarium. I appreciate that. I wonder what the other one was before all this shit. Oh man, he didn't, didn't fuckhead bring us here forever ago and we started eating all the food from his, from his table. I remember that. I remember that, that was so long ago. Yeah, yeah, same room. That was like back in act one. Uh, thank you, Tidarium. Indie Pro Star May May. Thank you for the subs. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Who approved of season one of ha of season two of Halo? I don't know. Walking, I see you. Good question. Uh, this was anything to get out of buying that Mind Flayer toys with its. This will do anything to get out of a bind that Mind Flayer toys with its food. So this is Raphael. Raphael wrote this, huh? Mind flare toys this food, but it'll become hungry soon enough, and they have proven such malleable little things. Crown for the hammer, more than a reasonable trade. After all, what use of power if you don't have freedom? Hmm. So is he saying that our uh, the emperor is going to eat us? Or something? Is that it? Like that's kind of what he's saying there. Interesting. Uh Cross Rav, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh number three four two, thank you for the fifty-six months. Thank you very much. A waltzing eternal debtor. Well they said watch out for the debtors, right? Prison hatchway. One, two, three. One, two, three. Don't look at me. I'm, I'm dancing. I love to dance. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Sure. Sure. They are level twelve. Perfect eternal debtor. You, you, are you good? Uh, are you good? I tried, I tried, but I don't think I can ever be good. Instead, I'll be perfect. Okay. Such a beautiful house. Oh, such a beautiful prison. Okay, what's in the chest? Hang on. Locked. Uh, Asterion, work your magic. Was told not to talk to debtors, talks to every debtor. Now you understand. <laughs> now you understand. All right. What now? 
Uh, scroll of Misty Step and 254 gold. I'll take it. So it says prison hatchway here. Um, can we open this? Lock picking impossible. Okay, so whatever whatever the way in here, we can't open it without like a key or something, perhaps. Okay. Did I restore my oath? Nope, still an oath breaker. Over here. When is the door not a door? When it's a jam jar. I won't find a way out here or a way in. Uh, what is this place? This is the chamber of egress. The portals here crisscross the plains, but they won't open to the likes of you and me. This is how Raphael consults with his clients so efficiently, no matter the time, no matter the place, and it's how he stalks his prey. Must be something useful here. Oh, there is. There is. If you stare into the portals long enough, your mind starts to do cartwheels and tricks you into thinking you're falling into a horrible yawning void. Uh huh. It's one of my favorite ways to pass the time. But you have no time to waste. No time will waste you. And what you need from the house is in the archive. Not here. Okay. Portal to Baldur's Gate. Portal to Mephistar. Portal to Luskin. M Menzo, whatever. Neverwinter, Waterdeep. Oh, that's where Gale came from. Interesting. Uh, wasn't this uh, Menzo Baranzin? Wasn't that where we were? That was the underground area. I think that was it, right? Let's go to Menzo Baranzin. Wasn't that there? Those are all places in Dungeons and Dragons lore. Ah. Right, right. We were there, weren't we? Yeah, I think we were there. Okay. Mm inner balcony map say so i wonder if at the end of this are we going to end up fighting Raphael here um i think he might kick our ass <laughs> if, if we do we might we might get our asses kicked he's probably not happy about us being here right a mystic force curtain invitation Show your invitation. I like to watch the door to the boudoir. I like to see who goes in, who comes back out, and who never does. What do you think his total health will be? I don't know. Six, six, six. You know what goes on inside that room? <laughs> oh, I like to peek through the keyhole. There's so much to see. I feel like the song that plays so at the end of this area. Is Raphael mine? Why? It was his idea. Here I watch. Forever and forever. Oh, I can never join in. But I'll always look. Okay. Not helpful. Thank you. So those, those uh, auras only happen when I'm actually close to my allies, which is amusing. Uh, so it said the one thing, the one chick said we're looking for the archives here. Have we done like a full circle? Been awake for a hundred years. Let me rest. Taming Hope Part 2. What does this say? Oh, uh, what's that? Good morning. How are you? Here, I hope my tenacious petal clinging to the flower despite winter and all common sense. Uh, them to capture dreams of frightened children. Uh, the Omo ones were clever people. Hope, uh, hope that children slept like stones. No boogeyman or creepers invaded their imaginations. No, the figments went in here. They got to know each other. A social house for nightmares. Let's just go bump. Uh, in the night, live outside this, live inside this dream catch, and they're dying to meet you. Serve me, damn your pride, and serve me with your whole heart. Uh, okay. So you know, it seems like it seems like the, this whole Satan guy. It seems like he's kind of mean. Who would have thought? Watch out for Taylor Swift. She might be around here somewhere. God. 
Eternal Rat. And I talked to the Eternal Rat. You know what's better than 24, 25. Thanks, Barb Bar Cheers. Yeah. Uh, Noel Champ, thank you for the 25 months. Thank you very much. <laughs> I can't believe this devil is a bad guy. Yeah, me neither. Uh, Sport Boots, thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you very much. I didn't... Listen, I didn't, I didn't sign the contract because I thought he was a good guy. I signed the contract because I thought he was cool. <laughs> How did you end up she here? My chums, took everything and ran. The kindly devil hid me from them. Make sure they'd never find me. I get to know best that the litter and hungry want little sweet with rot. Simply life, but harder. So, like, he wanted to escape. I mean, what are the odds? What are the odds that Raphael is planning on also betraying us at some point, right? Oh, here's the arcade. What are the odds that like we signed this contract, but you know, I mean, I don't I don't know if Raphael is particularly our friend here. The odds are is he's planning on betraying us also, right? Let's let's be honest here. Right, right. What is this wine the gum? wine is laced with the perfume of an exquisite poison. An unexpected treat. Okay. Scroll of Hold Monster. Cool. Uh, what's up, Graham? How's it going? Got lost and died. Devil contract is extremely binding on both sides. Not if I rip it up, apparently. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Oh, is this our contract? Impervious Sphere. Oh boy. Aiming Hope Part 1. What does this plaque say? This A most cherished client. It currently holds the contract. The ink is dry. Your contract with Raphael. Your signature bold at the bottom. The earthy smell of fresh ink still lingers. A magical field surrounds the item, preventing you or anyone from touching it. You surmise it's controlled by a vocal component. Magic words. This is not over. There is no lock that cannot be undone. Reach out to sense how far you can reach before being repelled. It is I, Raphael. Lower your defenses. <laughs> Let's if try this. Can reach out a compulsion and your head stops you. No. But come on. Seems to say. Uh, tubes. Thank you for the 15 months. Let's let's try this. Nothing happens. Okay. So there's like words we have to say here, and then that will open this, and we can get it out. Apparently. Ooh, the power of the crown. Whoops, did not mean to do that. What does the power of the crown say? So the crown is the thing that's controlling the brain, right? Uh, thank you, Tubes, for 15 months. Appreciate that. Oh, what did the chapter of the dance book describe? The coronation of Raphael as Archdevil Supreme of the Nine Hells, but the circumstances vary in each case. Some ver versions are written as if historical fact, others are imagined futures, but all in with Raphael wearing the crown of Carsus. In the end, it was the prison bearers who came to him seeking salvation. He laid out a course to their survival. They would be free of the parasite. The sword coast would be cleansed of Elithus, and Raphael would, claim, would receive the crown for his part in the victory. From the moment he met them, it was inevitable. The realms would weep to see his glory. Um, well, I mean, that doesn't seem that bad. Uh, gauntlets. Oh, these are the gauntlets. What does this say? Gauntlets of hill giant strength. So this is apparently if you lift it, it's like an it's like an Indiana Jones situation. <laughs> if you lift it, it's an Indiana Jones situation. Ooh, it's a tough one. Uh alright, let's see. Stereon, what do you got? Hell yeah, dude. Big boulder coming. Thank you, Asterion. Still alive, so that's progress. 
Lay a finger on the Master's treasures, and you will lose the entire hand. Yeah, but, like, I could also kill you. <laughs> hmm. Can I kill everybody here? Summon Master Raphael. And I haven't finished dusting the artifacts yet. He will be most annoying. This is delightful. You have what you wanted, but you cannot leave lest all hells break loose. <laughs> uh, a hopeless situation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but the gauntlets are really sick, though. I think we put these on Gabnon, right? For sure. And uh, the gloves of dexterity. Let's go give the gloves of dexterity to uh, Asterion, right? That seems like that makes more sense for him. Feed him to Gale, who? What the hell is that? Tyrion has 20. It, de it debuffs him, really? How would this debuff him? Gale the snail. Look at his stats. I don't I don't know. What what did it do to him? I don't think it did anything to him. He has more than 18. Oh, so if I do that, he's actually losing some dexterity. How do you look at his character sheet? He's not losing, it just does nothing. Well, I mean, he, he that's not true because he's gaining attack. Look at his attack went up. That's not true. You're wrong. You know, actually, you guys have been called out on YouTube for how much wrong information you guys give me like youtube is watching they're like man you get a lot of bad information from your chat <laughs> just want you guys to know that you're being judged right now counterpoint fuck youtube <laughs> just wanted you guys to know that's all you are being judged What is a... Uh, I don't remember what reverberation did. I don't think it's worth it, though. All right. Uh, what sword do you have on Lazel? Lazel is using the silver sword of the astral plane. She's been using it for a long time. I mean, honestly, Lazel, with the amount of attack she does, she's been kicking... She kicks all, all kinds of ass at this point, so... She kicks a whole heap of ass. Look attacks. You think Raphael's gonna be more annoyed at me stealing back my contract or me stealing all of his food? <laughs> Who the fuck stole all my fucking food, goddammit? Uh it's Corey. Thank you for the tier 383 months. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate that. Uh does this do? Through the telescope, a sinister vista sprawls before you, boiling rivers and sheer crags. A sight of the hells that you. That was only survived by contracts that have you more. Uh, he'll definitely hate you more for the contract. So we still haven't found a way to open this. Amulet of greater health. Oh, that sounds cool too. Hey, Asterion. We already stole from him once. You may as well steal from him again, I guess. Morning, Barb. Morning, chat. Uh, Virobot, thank you for the 15 months. Thank you, Virobot. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you, dude. Oh, what's up, Coffee Addict? I've got a long road ahead. 
Okay, so what is the Amulet of Greater Health? What does that do? So the warrior's constitution score to 23. The enchantment has no effect. The constitution score is higher without it. Advantage on constitution. Um... What do we think? Both are giga items. This makes somebody, this gives somebody a lot. I can maybe take this off of uh, Psychic Spark. I don't really use this too much. I don't know what her, is there a way to look at her constitution? So her constitution is 13. She could actually really use it. Uh, she could really use that. Apparently she really likes me. So now, uh, now her constitution is 23. Apparently everybody really likes me. Uh, not Asterion though. Asterion bitch, I let your fucking ass become super Satan. What the fuck? She has 172 HP now? Holy shit. I let your ass become fucking super Satan. And he's like, nah, he's all right, I guess. Kind of mid, whatever. Um, I think... I am going to give this to Gabnon and swap it around. I think Gabnon having 184 HP is uh, pretty goddamn good. I'm going to give that to Gabnon. Yeah, he's kind of mid or whatever. All right, good enough. I'm not going to heal all the way to max. Uh, list of debtors. Can we read? That's a long, that's a long list of debtors here. It says a list of names of Raphael's house separated by headers, loan, punished, put to work, fed to pets, used as leverage, missing. Uh, can I like, what about, can I smash these open? Or can Asteria unlock pick the display 41 cases? long months. Thanks for all the entertainment over the years. Kilo Bar Predator, cheers. thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Thank you for the 41 months. Really appreciate that. Did I go Dark Urge? I did not go Dark Urge, no. It's like other stuff we could be looting. Just a regular ass gold necklace, fair. Man, that HP is crazy. Oh look, the, oh, wow, there's more stuff about us here. The Nautiloid Adventurers. Uh, Vandalism, thievery, murder, dawdling with intent. What crime did you commit? It doesn't matter because it was the wrong crime. You didn't steal what you came for. But there's no turning back. You need to leave and you need to take me with you. Come to me across the hall. Bring the hammer. Break my chains. Then we can get your contract. I'll be there. Quick as a cockroach. Lickety split if you don't mind. What to do? Wanted to read this. Uh, Kilo Predator, thank you for the 41 months. Age 9, always wanted a Nintendo console. However, due to being extremely poor living in Venezuela, it was just a distant dream. Using his creativity, he made a cardboard soup. Uh, Dumb Chest, thank you for the $10, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Also, the timed out should not speak. <laughs> As requested, I've kept a close eye on the infected adventurers who fell from the Nautiloid and survived. Impressive. They spent a while stumbling around like lost babes. Easily distracted ones at that. <laughs> but finally made it to Moonrise Towers. You should have seen the mess they made there. Pure, delicious chaos. They killed Ketherick. It was a hell of a show. Blighted, I got a front row seat. And now they're in Worms Crossing. If the last few days are anything to go by, the more blood, death, and chaos means I'll be running into you any day now. If anything changes, so... We've been watched for uh, quite some time. They've been watching us for a while, apparently. Orders for the Archivist. Burazma! Was that delay? Move some of the Condor treasures to the main cache. We are excited uh, about soon acquiring the Crown of Karsis and want in secret certain things on display while the rest may be safely stored in the secret vault. One in the archive of the Amulet of Greater, of greater Health, uh, which is a place reserved for the Crown 
Artifacts in the vault should be the staff of spell power and a backup gold cache. Well, the staff isn't going to do much for us, right? So we have to go uh, save the girl, right? Save the girl. Okay, so Hellsphere. You better give the staff to Dale. Immune to fire. It seems uh it seems nasty. Opportunity attack. Seems kinda nasty, huh? I don't think we're going to be able to hide. Now, I wonder, is this thing going to... Uh, enemies and objects within three meters of the sphere at, uh, at the end of the turn take three, six to 36 fire damage. Yikes. Yikes. Um, so, it seems like we're going to take a lot of fire damage here. We don't, we don't want to be close to this thing at all, apparently. Uh, let's see. Let me look at my scroll. I have a scroll of ice, I think. Ice knife. I wanted to try. I have like a wall of ice or something. Ice. Ah, uh, here we go. Scroll of wall of ice. Wait, wait. So I can... GG, I win. <laughs> Did I just win? Ice pillar. Alright. Uh Uh, a vengeful boar. I am fury. I am death. Who am I? Oh, are we not? In, I thought we were in combat with you. I have no idea what this game is about. We enjoy watching the games you crush. Thanks for the peripheral fun, right, smiley let's go face. Hit this vengeful boar, I suppose. Okay, vengeful boar is dead. We are on fire. Uh Okay. Uh hey Dracula, thank you for the 25 months sloth fiend. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. I promise that there are really good games out there that do not begin with Super and end with Mario. I promise. There's really interesting and fun games out there. It's hard It's hard to believe, I know, but it's true. So I'm not sure what's going to happen next. We definitely want to kill this guy, too. <laughs> so wait. It's just, like, stuck there? Looks like it's burning everything. Uh... It has 223 HP. Yeah, apparently this thing can just roll right up to you. I guess go ahead and hide. And not enough moving for that, so I guess let's just go ahead and uh, do the sneak attack ranged. So every time you do that shit, they, uh, they transform, I suppose. These guys really don't seem too bad. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, so the only thing left is the big ball here, right? The only thing left? Do I have something that could hit this thing? I wonder if you can throw, like, can you throw jugs of water at it or something? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, okay. It looks like the ice wore off. Okay, fair enough. Let's give it a... Uh, let's wait on the crit. I'll wait on that. Hmm. Throw a giant... Yeah, I ha actually still have... Can I, can I throw my jug of water at it? Can I do that? <laughs> Is that possible? No, dude. Helldivers is just completely fucking broken for me. Completely and utterly broken for me. Hmm. She has a fire resist spell. I don't think anybody has a fire resist spell. I don't think we have anything like that. Strike hard, strike fast. I do. Who has it? I have like fire elixirs and stuff. Yeah, for sure. Uh, let's see. Scroll. So I could try the scroll of ice or arrow of ice, ice knife, arrow of ice, arrow, uh, I don't know. I could do another wall of ice, I suppose. Um, I kind of think I should just fucking bite the bullet and just attack this thing because otherwise it's never going to go down. Um, now it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Although, you know what? Not right now. If I if I do it right now, what's you know what's going to happen is I'm going to slip on this ice. <laughs> that's what that's if I do that right now, I guarantee you I am going to slip on this ice. I promise that. Uh arrow of ice. Thing is immune to psychic damage, apparently. Um, I'm pretty sure this thing can't bleed. Pretty sure. And try it. I'm missing a lot, huh? Wow, that's a lot of misses. Miss. Ow. Uh, are we still? We are still hidden. Okay. Yeah, it was a lot of missing. It's not a boulder. It's just a rock. Okay. Well. Immune to ne so this thing is immune to necrotic damage. That's good to know. Apparently, you can hide from it for free. Let's uh bonk it, and immune. It's immune to poison damage, and I think you want to hit it and then like run from it a little bit. Okay, I got you. So you want to hit it and run. So we're gonna let's go run in with Gabnon. You can take me on. Good luck, dude. And then get away from it. Uh Spud, thank you for the 83 months. Thank you very much. I think you might be the first 83 month subscriber today. Is actually is today actually the anniversary? It's a 83 months. I think you're the first. Uh, thank you very much, dude. 
Immune to psychic damage. You know, a whole lot of things in this game are immune to psychic damage. Ouchie. It's like 20 years. That's a long time. Yeah. So don't, doesn't Asterion have something about sneak attack? Let's see. Oh, so this might do another that actually. So let's try sneak attack melee with Asterion here. This thing is like immune to all my kinds of damage, <laughs> which really sucks. Uh, bonk. It's immune to poison. Okay, this thing should be dead here soon. So much for peace. Death won't take me yet. Uh, sure. Go ahead and re-roll it. And get away from it. Should I throwing a water? I did think about throwing water at it. Yeah, I did. I don't think that's gonna work. Really, Lazel? And now we're gonna we're all splitting up, so we can't all be hit by it. It's gonna hit one of us. Seems like it's really got it out for uh, really got it out for her for some reason or other. Hey, there we go. All right, we killed the rock. We'll go ahead and take a short rest. Uh, does the rock have anything good? It has nothing. <laughs> it has literally nothing. Okay, can I open this door? It's a rock. Well, I don't know. There could be like a mil. What if, what if the inside of that was like a hundred diamonds? I don't. I, how would you know? Could very easily have been that. Ooh, psionic dominance sounds pretty good. Charm. I'm going to give Gabnon psionic dominance. That sounds pretty good. Uh, it looks like a brain or is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. So in this game, you have these uh, parasites, these tadpoles, and the more you consume, you gain more and more illithid powers. Um, so basically, I have like a million little parasites that are making me stronger, which is kind of cool. Okay, so we have... Uh, a lot of these guys to hit now, huh? Brain worms. Yeah, pretty much. This all causes like a shitload of fire. Um, uh, let's see. I'm kind of tempted to just turn on divine guardians and just like walk through all these guys. Um, hmm. I got worms. Kind of tempted to do that. The thing is, you have to hit these guys once. And then once you've hit them once, then you can actually do like real damage to them. Ow. Uh, our pet's heads are falling off. Ooh, so I can actually stop. I can nullify your spell. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. Gabnon says no. Okay, Lazel. And the old smack. Oh, 
Smashy, smashy. Good job. Survival is all that matters. Flame feeble. Vo oh, that means us we are now vulnerable to fire damage, I guess. Okay. Ow. Oh, shit. I don't know if that's the uh, hill giant shit or not, but uh, that's some damage, huh? Uh, hang on, can we cancel this end turn here? All right. Call the week. Yeah, Gabnon is hitting. That might that might be the uh, the hill giant strength. I'm not sure. Vulnerable fire damage, instant explosion checks out. Yeah, kind of right. I'm just going to go ahead and send in a Sterion here, too. They're going to explode, like, no matter what. Uh, I did not need that. was stupid of me, but oh well. Give me two hours and you realize you can cancel and enter. Yeah, you can cancel and turn. I mean, really, we're all doing okay. I think we just keep her back. I can, I can uh, cast another of this. Okay, uh, as usual, she misses. Seems about right. Okay, another one down. Uh, Bite code, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you for 18 months, dude. No, no, not that one. Okay. And smashy here. And shoot you. Miss. And a bullshit is that, Asterion. And nice damage there. Okay, you made up. You made up for the miss. Uh, Hupsaurus, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Barb Gabnon. Barb Gabnon. Barb Gabnon. Barb Gabnon. Barb Gabnon. Barb Gabnon. Welcome, rest. Uh, thank you, Hupsaurus. Appreciate that. Did I ever respect Shadowheart? No, dude, I didn't respect Shadowheart because I don't know what I'm doing with Shadowheart, so I I never did that. More for me. I just don't know what I'm doing with the character. Maybe if I knew what I was doing at the beginning of the game. Now I feel like after playing, like she's a good healer. Devon, the what is it called? The the guardian spell she has. That that's a really good spell. That one's really good. But uh, yeah, I mean sacrifice heart. Uh, okay, so what does our quest say? Thank you for the good time spent, Barblauf. We have to find a way to deactivate it. Um, okay, so we still have to help her. She's like in prison somewhere here. I don't know where Morning, Bart. or how to get her out Bart of it. Uh, mm, doggy, thank you for the 49 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you, Lord Pikachu. Thank you, Hupsaurus. Thank you, Bite Code. Appreciate that. Thank you guys very much. Welcome on in. Yeah, I know that uh, I, I, before some of you may complain about me playing this game today, uh, I really am enjoying this game, and uh, fuck you. <laughs> oh, there she is. I'm having a fantastic time with Baldur's Gate, and I wanted to continue. We're, we're really close to the end. Really, really close to the end here. Man. We just got charmed. And it's so good. Oh man, we're gonna dude, that's so bad. Gadmon just got charmed. Who who was the one that charmed me? Yeah, we're very close to the end of the game. I don't know which was the one that it must have been this one, right? Oh, this guy, Harlep, must have charmed me. 
It had it had to have been Harlep, right? I don't know if there is a way to stop Gabnon from being charmed because that seems really bad, actually. Seems really bad. I think Gabnon is gonna fucking kill me. Incubus charmed. Uh, I also I can't look at any of my stuff here. I don't I don't know if we're gonna be able to. Do, Gabnon has everything. Uh, I can't even if I had something. I don't I don't think I can't use it. I'm trying to hide so I can kill this guy, you asshole. Hmm. All this could have been avoided. I ain't no bitch. Yeah, yeah, we're on tactician. Uh, the beginning of the game for tech, to, so I'm playing on hard mode in this game. The beginning of the game was so much harder than the rest of the game. Like, there's been some moments of difficulty for sure, but the beginning was significantly the worst for sure. Uh, that is so much shit over here. Uh on my way. Oh, I can't do it. Do I have anything dominate person? Oh, they don't let you cast... Do uh, can I dominate Gabnon back? I don't think she has a spell that could actually work out here, does she? Bestow, curse, turn undead. I don't think she does. Banish. Charm person. Oh, apparently I have a 12% chance of charming Gabnon back. Is that right? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, bestow, curse... Try to break concentration. I don't think it's a concentration spell. Uh, where, where is this guy? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look like he has one. Hmm. Yeah, it's not a concentration. Blade ward. I don't think I have one. Yeah. Well, I was going to try to use the light beam since they're all like gathered up here. Um, let me do... Let me do Shield of Faith on Shadowheart here. Did Gabnon just try to, like, nullify my spell? He did, didn't he? He did, didn't he? Um, why won't she do it? Yes, confirm. I don't know why she won't do it. All right, let's uh, send Lazel this way. Thanks for always being AR. Fuck it. Uh, Mon Hunter, thank you very much. Appreciate that.
Good job, Lazel. Can't control. I am Incubus Charmed. Uh, we're gonna not attack Gabnon. Do not attack Gabnon. Okay. Draining Kiss. This is reducing my HP, so that thing is, like, stealing my HP now. God, dude, fuck this thing. Harlep? Bro, fuck this thing. Uh, Alimra, thank you for the 30 months. Thank you very much. I can't believe I don't have any way to stop this from happening. I can't believe that. Can't watch for long today, but hope you enjoy the near end. Thirty months of bar bliss. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm not sneaking anymore. I wonder if I cast arrow if I cast arrow of arcane interference, I don't think that would help. The spe the damage is done, the spell is on him, right? Uh, Q Brands, thank you for the sub. Athena, thank you for 83 months. Alimra, thank you for the sub. Thank you guys. Really appreciate that. There's kind of no way for me to get that off. Uh, I still want to shoot him, though. Ethereal Escape. Uh, I don't know what that does, and it's not letting me look at him for some reason. For some reason, I can't look at him. Fair enough. Thanks for the distraction while I'm at work. Chat is stinky. Stinky chat. And Eldritch Blast is uh rough. Ow. Why would Lazel need help? What would that even do? Uh, Dude Man Guru, thank you for 27 months. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. I could try banishing Gabnon. <laughs> try banishing him. I don't think that works either. Oh, it would put out the fire. Oh, I see. Right, so wherever fucking dickhead is, he he I don't know where he is. Wherever he I don't know where he is at all. He fucking disappeared. Twenty percent chance of hitting. Um I'll tell you what, let's just go heal Lazel for a bit. Wait, Gabmon's just you know, Gabmon is using all of his good shit. Trying to stop me from helping my party is what he's doing. <laughs> I think the light beam doesn't do much for us here. Um... Critical miss. Hey, one less shithead, I guess. I still have no control of Gabnon. Featherfall? He's just throwing shit. Stop using my shit. That's my my retirement grease. Why would you use that? <laughs> Oh, hey, look who's back. It's Harlep. Hey, dude.
Wait, wait, is Gabnon no longer charmed by the enemy here? So now Asterion is charmed? Oh, okay. So we can only charm one person at a time, huh? Jeez, man. This fucking, uh, this Incubus guy? Dude, fuck this dude. Uh, Span Jamp, thank you for the sub. Remick, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Fuck that dude. Okay, I already need to rest. Uh, I'm gonna warp over and I'm gonna beat the shit out of this motherfucker. Okay, never mind. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Another one down. Let's go. Good to have you back, Gadnon. Kaboom! Kaboom! Does that mean he just like uh he, he after you hit him once he disappears i think is that what that means these oh is it when you take damage you like lose it is that it i'm really tempted to do this uh ascendant bite on him right now <laughs> yeah do it ah <laughs> Okay. So he's still like gone. Let's get rid of this last guy here. All right, so all that's left is this fucking guy. Um What should I do? Let's go ahead and let's heal go. everybody. We we kind of took a beating from all this fucking fire bullshit. Um, Time to strike. Nothing important is ever easy. Uh, I guess he might start appearing over here somewhere. So he like disappears and then comes back, disappears, and then comes back. Now I wonder. Oh, that that works. Backstab him. So yeah, you only get one attack on him per round, huh? Okay. Go hide again. And now we got her back. Actually, the fire kind of works in your favor here because if they step on the fire, then they, uh, they, it breaks the charm. Kind of a, kind of an annoying fight. Uh, Dank Show, thank you for the seven months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Yeah, it's kind of an irritating fight how he uh, appears and disappears all the time. Here, let's. I'll put you not on fire anymore. Huh? Fuck you, Asterion. What kind of bullshit was that? There we go. Don't run on the... F Why are you going over there to catch on fire, idiot? Let's have a look. All right. Yeah, sneak attack was real good, right? Uh, let's see. Un oh, wow. We found... <laughs> we found new underwear. A key from Raphael's safe. You gain plus one to spell attack rolls and spell save. Uh, your weapon deals additional one to six fire damage. Your unarmed attacks deal additional one to six necrotic damage. You possibly inflict bleeding. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Finally, some new underwear. Okay, this is why Asterion doesn't like you. Okay, let's put on the new uh, the new underwear on you. 
And let's put the new underwear on you. Okay. Uh, Seamus, thank you for the 21 months. Lego Chef, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Kind of like this on uh, Lazel, right? The Lazel has strength saving throws and attack plus one. But this one uh, gives her one to six fire damage and necrotic damage. Kind of like, well, not a, not necrotic, but fire damage. Kind of like that, don't you think? Underwear is the most important piece of armor. Kind of like that on Lazel. I feel like the fire damage is better. Now the spell attack rolls could be good on her. Hmm. Let's put this on Lazel. New gloves. Feels beer man. Thank you for seventy three months. Thank child. you very much. So we've used all of our rest. Can I like leave rest and then come back again? <laughs> Is that possible? It seems pretty good. I find the PC UI to be more cluttered compared to on console. I've heard a lot of people actually say that this was pretty nice on console, but Is Lazel missing a ring? Oh god, it's more of these? Man, there's so many of these guys. Invalid target. I'm trying to shoot this guy. For the controller controls, even on Steam, it's color coordinated. I mean, I've never, I haven't had like any difficulty with this game's like UI or anything, so. Hide, backstab. Oh, is there another fucking rock here? God damn it. There's another fucking rock over here. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Nothing will stand in my way. All right, Gabnon. Blood follows me everywhere. Boulder too, yeah. All right, we're gonna do a long rest. Let's go do a crit. I'm gonna take a long rest here anyway. We're gonna come back in. Let's go pound this bitch. Boulder gate, yeah. Some nice damage overall. Oh, uh, I will ascend. I want Lazel here. Rays of fire. Pearl three ray. That's actually pretty cool. No, do it on yourself, please. Path is interrupted. On the move. Whatever. Fine. Fighting. Yeah. Heading there. Like shooting fire at the rock would not be very helpful. I know, I know. I was just looking at it in general. That was a lot of damage. I don't think Hellish Rebuke is going to be good against the, the rock of fire. Okay. I skipped a lot. I don't know what I was doing, man. I, I, you know, I hate when people are like, oh, you intentionally did something. I walked in, I took the things, everybody wanted to kill me. What do you want from me? I, didn't, I wasn't skipping anything. Just playing the game. Oh man, I can't believe it. You skipped it, dude. Uh, I think let's just shoot you. Okay. The only corner of this, I have advantage with Shadowheart and I still missed anyway. Oh, there goes my advantage on that. That was a complete waste. <laughs> All right, I think between Lazel and Gabnon, we can fucking whoop this thing's ass, right? 
One. Ah, see, that's the problem. It's immune to psychic. It's immune to fire. This thing is immune to everything, man. All the divine smites in the world. Do I need to kill the ball? I mean, I think if I don't. All right, Sterion backstab. This thing is immune to necrotic damage still. I think I kind of have to, yeah. At this point. There probably was a way to finagle my way out of this whole fucking situation so I didn't have to fight anything. All right. The hellish fears are uh, not my favorite thing to play, to fight against, for sure. Okay, so I'm trying to get back out of here so we can take a long rest real quick. It's like this is it somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Oh, did I? <laughs> I can't. I guess. Uh, that's bad. <laughs> uh, that's really bad. Lockpick? Maybe. Lockpick our way out. Back to exploring. Ah, I'll be fine. <sighs> These things have stayed in okay. No problem. <laughs> All right, let's save real fast. Can I, uh, are you going to let me come back real, fit, real quick? Close for a moment, and the air becomes. Oh, okay. So they don't the want you to do that. <laughs> there are many things in your world that I loathe. Litters of kittens, chattering children, the noise, and the chaos of it all. In my world, in my house, there is order, and there are rules. You have broken the most important rule of all and committed the cardinal sin. You went against your word and defied our contract. In doing so, you brought the chaos of your world into mine. But your intrusion and insolence is not the most disappointing part <laughs> of this whole affair. Your stupidity is... I still hold your contract, and your presence here is a violation of Clause 15, Subclause 4. It is said that hope is a fine breakfast, but a poor... Sounds summer. like Ian McShane. He's well, not calling me a cunt every five seconds. The shadows grow long, and the hour is late. It's supper time. <laughs> How can you not like this character? Sup on your soul. <laughs> what? Wow. I don't even get a wait, why do I don't get a chance? Auto lose. <laughs> That's funny. I wonder, um, I wonder how many auto loses there are. I wonder in the game, like how many things are like, you made this decision, auto lose. Don't waste us. You made the decision. I wonder how many auto lose there is. The auto lose things are kind of funny because it's like, 
you can do so much in the game but if you are so stupid if you are so dumb <laughs> then the game's not gonna save you i got hell divered okay so apparently i'm still missing something here oh the hatch okay do i have this this is it right oh this was locked earlier why i'm not sure why it's open now Find my prison. My body is held in chains just beyond. But your meat is cooked, your soul is scorched, and your race is run. Raphael is striding across the plains, chasing the beat of your terrified heart. He still has your contract. And while he does, you have approximately zero ways of surviving. An Until we get our contract, we can't survive. Wickedy split right after you free me. I swing that big, beautiful hammer, crack open my chains, and let's get out of here. It's time to buy this cup on a hope and a prayer. Uh, any advice when it comes to fighting Raphael? Don't. But if you must, <laughs> make sure I'm with you. He makes mistakes when he's angry, and seeing me running free will make him as angry as an axe head. Do this. You sound so brave, but we really don't have a choice. Yep, hang on. So this is Hope's prison. Uh, hang on. Before I... Let me go back up real quick. Look at the map here. We already, we already went into the treasure vault, right? There's the archive. What was, what was that way? I mean, let me take a look up that way real quick. Before we... I don't know if we're going to be able to come back here. I, I do. I did kind of want to side with Raphael. I still... I maybe Maybe he'll give us another chance. God, these little these little bastards are so annoying. Maybe we'll still be able to. I, I don't know. Probably not at this point. <laughs> All right, you're dead. Okay, can we go here. Ooh, the boudoir. A restoration faucet. Oh, so these things, can these things heal you to max and you get all your spell slots and shit back? Oh, that's awesome. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it's a long rest. That's really cool see a button here that's curious hey, patty are, are you you ever thinking about playing Baldur's gate 3 it's a long game it's a long game kill his bed pee in his bed Raphael's bed <laughs> come here lazel <laughs> hell no no i don't think so not the game for you uh it's a i, I thought this was a fantastic game fantastic game I think uh, probably maybe RPGs are not everybody's jam though, so I understand. Amber heard his bed. <laughs> uh, hang on, there's a button here. Can we press the button? Um, ow. Oh, uh, the soul coins you can use. Well, I, the soul coins do something to Carlac. I'm not sure what. Am I gonna play Divinity Original Sin? Turn-based anything makes you restless. It's nice to watch and get to pay about 20% attention. Oh, really? I get, you know, some people, uh, uh, you know, the, the people who can't play turn-based games, Bard. I respect the choice, but I do feel like they're missing out, but uh, it's it's their choice, obviously, but I do feel like they're missing out. Uh, Tone Cone, thank you for the 37 months. Thank you very much, really appreciate that. My bet has paid off. The contract signed, that means that I'm as close to the crown of Karsa as I was the day Nethro fell. But this time I will get it, and things will be different in the hells henceforth. The contract kept safely in the archive is the key to my greatest achievement. I need to buy a password. What shall it be? Perhaps give me my heart's desire. Oh, well. That, uh, that might make it easier to not die to him. Give me my heart's desire.
Uh, Asterion, lockpick. With pleasure. Did I manage to find Hope's contract? Uh, not yet. Not yet. We found, um, there's something down below. I just, I knew I wasn't done up here because I missed something. I kept getting attacked by these fucking demon bitches all over the place, so. A scroll of irresistible causes you to start dancing, making it unable to take actions. Okay. Let's move. So we know this place is here if we ever need to take a long rest. I guess it's like a permanent long rest. That's really nice that they added that. Do I keep Asterion for his lock picking skills? I no, I like Asterion. I love the sneak attacks and shit. Love that spell. Layering games are funny. Other RPGs are way more serious and less funny. Ocean of Angelic Slumber. Drink to fall into two turn. Less interrupted, you gain the benefit of a long rest. Uh, interesting. Your gold ingot, arrow of darkness, arrow. I kind of want to give all of my special arrows to Asterion. Because uh, he is he is the only archer I have, technically. Well, the best game I've ever played, honor mode is a better mode if you really want to challenge. Well, I... If you go into honor mode, if something happens, you, like, can't, like, undo it, right? And that would have been pretty bad for me on my first playthrough. So, I'm not saying I'll never do it, but yeah. Yeah, would have been a bit rough. Yeah, not good for a first playthrough, right? More of these uh, angel about creation of the Orphic hammer. Oh, that's the hammer that Raphael gave us to uh, break the thing, right? Uh, let's see. The hammer's not a weapon. It's an insurance policy. It's function specific, but the utility is boundless. No chains forged by Infernal Hanker with status power. <laughs> What is me uh, metalifarious compound combined the purest essence of the nine hells? If I ever, should ever need to liberate the prisoners held in the iron city of Dis to shatter the vaults of Nargis or even to free the child of Gith, my hammer will be equal to the task. So basically, it can break anything. Fair enough. Everything. Um. So, can I go grab the contract now that I know the password? Not having the chance to reload leads to funny situations. My honor mode, I had four with only Shadowheart because the rest died. Here we go. Uh, Mike Frey, thank you for the 22 you months. Thank you very much. So close yet so far. You know the words. Now speak them. You know, honestly, let's be real here. Raphael should have set a password that had several capital letters, a symbol, several numbers. And he, he he really needed a better password than this, right? Like he needed <laughs> this is this is a pretty weak password, right? Give me my heart's desire. Away at your words. Two fact. Do you think Raphael just got a notification on his phone? Like fuck. This piece of humble parchment contains your promise to give Raphael the crown of Carsus. Without it, you are unbound from him forever. Tear it in two. Your blood suddenly runs cold. Raphael knows what you've done. Uh-oh. Always trust a dishonored person. Okay, so the contract is gone. Adios, bitch. It is two-factor. I think when we try to leave is when shit's gonna happen. Now, let's go back where we were. Um... And uh, let's go see if we can save hope, I guess. See if we can do that. Yeah, I also want to rest here because uh, I don't know how, but Gabnon took some damage. I'm not really sure why. I, would, I, I wouldn't have minded if there were more places like this in the game, just like a free long rest. Like not too many. I feel like the only ones in the game were like occasionally the restoration chambers. Uh, and now the bed. I wouldn't mind a few more of those, you know? The, um... Let's see, where is it, actually? Oh, it's down this way. The, uh... I think the reason why I, I, I would like that is that at, at, there was a couple points in the game where I almost ran out of camp supplies. Uh, and that was kind of annoying. <laughs> if you run out of camp supplies, it's really bad, actually. Yeah, yeah. 
No, supply. I'll tell you what, supplies do count on Tactician. You have to, uh, I, that's why lately I've been, uh, I have so much booze. Like, I have a crazy amount of fucking supplies. 864. I just buy every piece of food I can. <laughs> I buy it all. Um, a button. Oh, hey, there she is. She also said that having her around makes makes what's his fuck uh, makes Raphael really angry. I am kind of sad. I want to see what happens if Raphael gets the crown. I'm a little sad by that. Oh, I just realized I need the uh thing. I need the thing. Okay, I'm a little scared of Eldritch Blast right here. Oh my god, he's got a, he's got one of these assholes. Because I think Eldritch Blast knocks you back. Uh, so I'm a little scared I'm gonna get knocked back off the cliff here. <laughs> I'm like slightly scared of it. Let's have a little fun. Was that 76 damage? Holy shit. Now they see me. I mean, he's got two of these fucking things. First time I fought this thing, I didn't even really get a chance to see what it did. I think I killed it too fast. Um, so I'm kind of scared of Eldritch Blast knocking me off this shit is the thing that scares me the most right now. I could retreat back here. I think I'm less likely to get hit by that there. I don't, I don't want to retreat. Fuck it. Fuck it. Smash. And smash. Give him a divine smite. Victory awaits. Um I am going to Misty Step right here, and I'm gonna, first we're gonna kill this guy. Now let's start wailing on this spectator more. Look at all the damage Lazel's doing now. Holy crap, man. I think I'm getting a little lucky right now because I think that these uh, Eldritch Blasts can knock you back. I'm getting a little lucky. Oh, spotted by the spectator, huh? I have a disadvantage. Let's go ahead and shoot him anyway. Pretty nice. It must be this other one to see me. I thought I was a... Uh... I guess I'm in a clearly lit area. Never mind. I bit me. Hmm? Uh, just Blaze, thank you for the 34 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, Shadow Art's getting fucked up. She hasn't been able to do anything this entire thing. All right, let's kill this guy. Boom. And this guy's next. Kaboom.
And I'm gonna fly over here. I can't attack you yet, but at least we're there. Uh, let's get in this guy's face. I wanna, I wanna get rid of this guy just in case he starts Eldridge blasting me too. All right. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to do much here with this. Uh, I suppose let's just attack. And uh, we're not going to be able to sneak around. Uh, let's just attack him, I guess. Break them. Look, at all, <laughs> look at all that damage, man. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. They, they really... This thing really hates Shadowheart for some reason. Wow! What the fuck? Asterion is cracked, man. What the fuck, dude? And Shadowheart didn't get to do anything. <laughs> man, Asterion's fucking cracked, man. His weapon setup? We, when we started using Asterion, and, and so I started using him... Uh, I started using him at the beginning, or at, at Act 3, because we were doing the vampire quest, right? And his weapons and shit sucked. Like, he had bad weapons. Now he's got this mischief weapon and this Rhapsody. And, bro, he's, like, fucking insane now. I feel like the only party member who really sucks at this point is Shadowheart. But, like, she's not bad. She just... She has a more niche kind of thing going on. Okay, so I have to use the hammer to break her out, right? Hammer is almost as sweet a sight as you are. Uh, hammer. I didn't lose. Imagine if you lost it. <laughs> yeah, give me the hammer. Like, oh yeah, oops, lost it. She's the eye candy. Well, she actually is useful. She's the only one that has any kind of fucking AoEs. Um, she, like, nobody really has a... My team is pretty bad on AoEs, so... She's got the, the spinning blades, which is nice. She's also the only healer, so... Dale, well, unfortunately, uh, Dale, we lost Dale. I'm sorry. Gabe. Well, uh, but we must dress the holly fint in the room. I can see how you avoid looking at me. I must be so terribly mutilated after all these decades of torture. Don't hold back. Tell me how bad it is. So lucky in that spectator fight, dude. Mine went way worse. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's a luck issue. I'm gonna say it was a skill issue on your part, Bumper Shoot. You know, uh, every once in a while you're gonna run into a Baldur's Gate player like me that's just better than you easily. So, uh, I think perhaps, uh, it might be an issue of, uh, skill and gameplay on your part. I think, uh, Snake and I are, are, we're, we're not very impressed with your Baldur's Gate skills. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I think, unfortunately, it was an issue of skill. Hello. TSM Snake. Mio. Garrett Anthony, thank you for the 26 months. Thank you very much. Come here. Roasted by a cat. <laughs> uh, Power Ilurus, thank you for the 44 months. Mr. Mediocre Guy, thank you for the 25 months. Biggs McLarge Huge, thank you for Kida. 44 months. Garrett, wow, you guys were just waiting for the cat to appear on stream, weren't you? You guys were just waiting, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 they has gotten fatty. He's a little chunky, yeah. He's a little chunker. All right, off, get off. Come on. I don't want you on my desk all day. Go on, out. Go on, out of here. Go to your bed. 
Go to your bed. Uh, you're beautiful. You look perfectly normal. We both know that's not true. But, but thank you for being yeah. so kind. Uh, there's nothing wrong with you, physically at least. I hope that was a compliment. We'll carve our way to the entrance hall and chop Raphael into messes. That's the hopeful version, of course. The likely version is that we are the messes and here. he is the chopper. Get out of here. Onwards. Yeah. Oh goodness, this cat. Uh me 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 uh, alrighty. Is there anything else to do over here? It's like, we should check and see what they, if there's anything here. Skeletons, pile of bones. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that there's nothing here. This one's suffering is forever enshrined in the harrowing arrangement of its bones. Uh, the imps don't have anything. What about the uh, spectators? What about this? A burnished ring. It gives me a paralyzing ray as a spell I can cast. That's pretty cool. Oh, is there actually like a, a way back up from here? Interesting. Uh, I kind of want to see where that goes. But let me go ahead and save. Yeah, I got to change back to my old weapon. What do you have? 244 gold. Okay. Uh, you know, I kind of want to go back up the way I came because I want to go take that long rest. Let's go do that first and then we'll come back. And the long rest is the boudoir to the north. Yes, I have the hill giant stuff. Gabnon's fucking, he does crazy damage now. It's sick. Okay, we're gonna take a little rest here. I think there might be something else here because there's this, the Raphael's treasure vault. I don't think I've been in there yet. I think there might be something else there. How did the submarine encounter go the other day? Foxen, I, uh, I saved some people. I saved some people. Didn't save everybody. Pretty fucking hard to save everybody, I think. No, I saved more than two. Thank you. Hmm. Uh, let's try this. Sure. Is this the... Is this the vault here? Oh, dude, it was tough. And then not to mention, I go over to save Will's dad and then fucking boom. Uh, a, a bunch of fucking exploding spiders are there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Contract mole and a staff of spell power. Hell dusk helmet. Uh, you can see in magical and ordinary darkness up to a range. You cannot be blinded. Plus two to saving throws against spells. Attacker can't land critical hits. Um, and a uh, immolating gaze. Seer and frighten a target, but nothing but your thing. This would be kind of interesting because you know what's cool is that uh, Gabnon can cast darkness. Um, hmm. I, I think I already have crit immunity from my armor, I think I already have it. I mean, obviously we're going to take it. I think I already have it. I don't think there's really much, much point to get more of it. Uh, what does this say? Can I read this? Uh, 
I don't know why I have this contract. I wanted to read it. Uh, let's see. What does Shadowheart's helmet do? When healing another, the wearer gains Sir, regains one to six I HP. I, am not a well, I mean, I feel man. like that's pretty strong for Shadowheart. Um, what does this one do? Happy sub day. I can't wait to watch your playthrough on YouTube once I'm done with the game. Barb love. Become invisible. I was only thinking about giving this to a Sterion. It only heals Shadowheart when you use heals. Yeah. I mean, I guess I could give her this, right? <laughs> At least I'll caress that sword. Uh, does that, did that raise her armor class to 20? I guess I'll give it to her. Dommy mommy. Uh, thank you Azure for tier two 63 months. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we're going back in the hole um, to go see where that cliff led. Might be too heavy for Asterion. She's uh, she's proficient in this, right? It's just, I think this isn't armor technically. It doesn't, I don't think it says that it's armor, right? So I think technically Asterion, it's not armor in that sense. I don't think it, yeah, it's clothing, right? So I don't think that does anything. So theoretically, Asterion could wear it. I don't think the saving throws to spells would help Asterion that much. I don't think that would do anything. I think that would help more for uh, for Shadowheart, if anything. It also helps that she also can't be crit. I tried to read this contract, Mole, but I can't. It just says, uh, I can't. A plain unadorned note. That's all it says. I can't read it. Use it? Can I? What? I don't know. Use it? I can't do anything with it. I don't know. Okay, where does this take me? Are we like outside the entire? Oh, so we like. Oh, so you could have gone here without. Uh... I could have gone here without opening that little vault thing. Is that it? Interesting. Apparently you can go around like the whole outside of this place entirely, right? You can like keep going. Um, have I already, I've already been, I've already been all through here though. I don't think there's much of a point, but that's cool. There's always, I really, really admire the way this game has multiple ways to, to approach like everything. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty exemplary for that. Yeah, I just went, I just went down the hatch. Okay, so, um, I guess now we're going to be, we cut, we tore up the contract. I don't think we're going to auto lose to him anymore. So. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. Man, I got, I got to say like, uh, this, this game makes me like, man, whatever they do next, dude, I hope that they fucking do another one of these. Oh man, it'd be amazing. Oh god, I'm I'm on board immediately on that. He's almost home now, closer than a kiss. Uh it's only 10 a.m. I'm watching Barb on TV eating ice cream out of the tub. Has there ever been a better blood. Monday? What's up, uh Kenny the Pirate? How's it going? And he probably knows a thousand ways to kill us. Okay. Wait, Aster where the fuck is Asterion? What the hell are you doing? Idiot. Maybe they can fix the pathing on the next game too. <laughs> Got a long road ahead. Rubble is hard to traverse, apparently. Is it me a bit? Yeah, I I will say that I still I don't think this game is like oh fucking perfect. I th I do think that this difficulty, the difficulty arc arc of this game, like you you'd expect the difficulty in a video game to kind of start low and then it kind of gradually gets more as you unlock more mechanics and stuff and like the gameplay deepens. I feel like this game starts off fucking so hard and then gradually gets easier. And there's still like a couple of little bumps along the way, but it's still like, it's insane. Just like the, the way the difficulty has gone in this game. The beginning of the game is way harder than the later part of the game. There's still been some bosses. There's still been some moments that were a little tough, but like, man, nothing compared to the beginning, man. All right, well, I think we know what's about to happen. For a moment, and the air becomes thicker. 
The master of the house is coming. You. <laughs> Who's that? This is one of the trolls from God of War 4 is here. <laughs> Why is he like? There are many things in your world that I loathe. Litters of kittens, chattering children, the noise, <laughs> and the chaos of it all. In my world, in my house, Geo Barf Gavnon. And there are rules. You have broken the most important rule of all and committed the cardinal sin. You went against your word and defied our contract. In doing so, you brought the chaos of your world into mine. I will not abide it. Your house in disarray, the guards couldn't stop me from freeing hope. Sister, oh sister, I wept and I cried, but all would be well if you were by my side. Oh, hope. You are such a piteous thing. All it takes is a crumb. I like from Raphael. And you forget the century. I'm sad I betrayed him. I like him. This insolence has earned you centuries more. Carilla. Tell our unwelcome guest about your role in their tragic downfall. I permitted you the freedom to decide your own fate. You could have been smart, selfless, saved the world. Instead, you came here and risked everything. It's the fatal flaw of mortal kind. Take away their free will and they call you a tyrant. Allow them to indulge it and they become tyrants. You would have been heroes if you'd only dealt fairly with me. Instead, you're not so different to doomed Casas, overreaching your limits and burning your world to ash. Wrong, wrong, wrong! They will save their world and smash you to smithereens. It's this charming naivety that makes your company such a joy to me, Hope. I'll even forgive this little rebellion once you're suitably chastised. This isn't a rebellion. It's a revolt. I'm revolting! <laughs> then hope dies today. Commander, you can salvage a trophy from these insects when I'm done with them. These insects struck me down beneath the Shadowlands. They are worthy opponents. I fought this guy? Their skulls will make fine trophies. Uh... I did? Oh, that was the exploding crossbow guy? That was him? Join the winning side. Raphael didn't stand a chance against me. Uh, <laughs> you know, I actually have a chance at this. Oh, it was close. <laughs> Hang on, I've got some inspiration. Let's roll again. Let's go! <laughs> to stand against a devil in his own home. That takes courage. I'm with you. How tiresome. Am I to understand that you wish to die with them? I wish to fight with them. It's all the same in the end. If you have any last words, make it quick. It will only take a moment to finish you. If you kill me, you'll never get the crown. If I die, Baldur's Gate is doomed. I've been hoping to kill you ever since I met you. Wait, I have one final proposition. <laughs> Let's see. As do I. 
little mouse. <laughs> your flesh, Aww. my supper. Your blood, my wine. Your soul, my plaything. Now, down comes the claw. Okay, now he's gonna. Yeah, here we go. Holy shit, dude. Really? So it looks like I dropped my melee weapons. Pretty much no way. Okay, so what is this? I mean, let me let me look at everything here. Let's go. Effect in the cause, curtain falls, but hold your applause. Squirm, squirm. For now, down here. Thirteen an hour. Like I'm in a Disney song here. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Uh, for each remaining soul pillar, Raphael's attack deal an additional damage. Ooh, so that's what the soul pillars do. These things give him, like, crazy damage. Is that right? Yikes. So... Roll a d20 to prevent ads. Great success. Fools, fools, how hard you have fought. But it's all been for naught. True souls that couldn't be born. Mm, okay. Detected Sounds like a final boss fight. Part. I'm really glad I got that your gear guy at my side, dude. <laughs> this is gonna be fuck. This seems like this is gonna be fucking rough. No more deals. It's over. The oh yeah, we really gotta take out these pillars, huh? No more grace. It's over. This house of hope. Seems like his little buddies are not a big deal, but he is uh, something else. Yeah, that was a lot of damage. The music is awesome. Dude, it sucks at Asterion. Like, the first thing that happened in the fight is fucking dropped his weapons, man. That sucks. Very, very first thing, all my weapons are dropped. Um. He does have six, six, six HP. Oh, wow. That was a really bad decision. <laughs> Ow. That hurt. Okay, let's uh, attack. Attack. Looks like there's some way to like thwart his consumption shit. Okay, so what even are you? You're uh, level 10 hope. I don't even know what this character is. What do you have? Oh, she has like a heal and shit. What else does she have? Uh, divine intervention, guiding bolts. Um, Ray of Frost. I think probably the most useful thing you could do for me right now is uh, heal everybody. Let's go heal everybody. Banishes one of the unwelcome guests from her house forever. This is a hundred percent. Uh, bye. <laughs> okay. 
good. Let's go uh, take this thing out. Okay. I could like throw something. How about, uh, you know what? I could throw like a poison or something. Uh, you know, I don't think anything's gonna work. All right, let's just end our turn here. And uh, I have this person's like in my face, so I can't do much. Um. Tempted to do this. I don't want to. I don't want to do spirit guardians yet. I have a, she has a scroll of dimension door somehow. Move her here. Let's go summon a uh, spiritual weapon, too. Let's go summon a spiritual weapon. Nice. Okay. Pick up my weapons. I mean... Good lord, your gear is kicking ass, man. I don't think like, I think sitting there and slowly picking up my weapons, I don't think that would be great, honestly. I, don't, I really don't think that would like be an awesome decision. Hmm? That reroll, I really did, yeah. Uh, man, if you had to fight, if you had to fight your gear along with all this shit, how would you ever gonna do? How would you, how would you ever fucking do this? <laughs> I'm gonna jump up here. I can actually become invisible. Wait. Oh, okay. He's invisible for two turns. I don't think hiding does anything and he's hidden. I said something slightly incorrect. That's not the first time and it's not the last time. I, all the fire damage I have is completely worthless here. I wonder, is he stunned because we broke one of the things or something? I don't know. Oh shit. Yeah, you gotta take out the pillars here. You really don't have a choice. At least I didn't lose my weapon here. That disarming attack, man. Fuck that. Jeez, man. It's a good fight. This is kicking my ass right now. We're like, we are, uh, even Gabna was like, what is it? 47. He had 184 HP.
I gotta kill these other fucking demon bitches. Um, how many spells do you have still? Preserve like, evoke a healing as it restores your allies, bless. Uh, we all need healing. Are we all gonna get healed by this? It looks like we will all be healed by this. Okay. She's uh, unarmed right now. Do I care? Ray of Frost. So there's really not much I can do right now. I can disengage and try to run away. I think we need to kill these demon guys before this gets this, like all this fucking demon bullshit. We gotta kill these guys. These guys are fucking rough. Uh, let's go do action surge. Right, these guys are, are they're, they're disarming me. They're just fucking, they're just kicking my ass. So we need to uh, chop down their numbers here. Hell, hell, hell has its law show. Hell, effect, send the cause curtain balls, but hold your applaus esquirm, squirm. For now, down here come the claws. Doomed, detected, and caught. Mm. All my good heals aren't here. Uh, Raphael, thank you for $10. Terzo, thank you for 34 months. Thank you very much. Doesn't seem like a lot of my good spells are going to be much of a benefit right now. Um, Shield of Faith. I feel like a lot of my stuff is actually not going to help much. Uh, Divine Strike, Flame Strike. I don't think Flame Strike is going to work on that. I try like Bless. Uh, yeah, I have. Uh, let's see, Immolating Gaze, Morning Bond, Divine Intervention. I don't know what this does. I'm, I don't know what this does. I'm afraid to use it. I'm probably going to end up beating the game and never using it. <laughs> I don't know what it fucking does. <laughs> Look at what does it say? Resurrect Fallen Companion with half their HP. Uh, oh, wow. So this is like a one time deal. I can only get to do this one time. Huh? Interesting. Yeah, one only once. I guess Shad you know, honestly, Shadowheart, just don't do anything. Just shoot this. There you go. One thank you, Shadowheart. <laughs> I can't see all my healers there. Everybody's out of range for a good heal, so I'd be wasting it. I really wish the shield reactions weren't broken. And oh, he's making more of these debtors. Is that it? Jeez, man.
All right, so what do you got? You've got this much HP. All right, let's, uh, miss. Come on, Gabnon. What the fuck? 90 goddamn percent and you fucking miss? Really, dude? I went here because I wanted to make sure uh, I hit everybody with this. There we go. At least it's something. Uh, who else? Gabnon's in really fucking rough shape. Apparently that heal only hits like close up. Man. All right, can we take out this guy? And, uh... Really wish I could have killed you. Okay, now... If I go here... And now I do mass cure wounds on... You... Me... Yabnon... Lazelle, and I guess I may as well cure. Oh, she's already, she's fine. I wish I could cure your gear, but he's hiding. Oh, uh, well, he's he's actually totally fine. He doesn't need my help. <laughs> all right, go ahead. All right, all that helped a little bit. I guess I can also do this too. Okay. Jeez, man. How much damage are you gonna do? Oh, did I already? I already lost my hammer, didn't I? Like already lost it. Fuck me, dude. God damn it. <laughs> oh man, I'm having trouble. I cannot, for the life of me, I cannot kill these ta these pillar things. I don't know, man. I know they're the very first thing that happened in the whole fucking fight is I got completely disarmed with Hysteria. That's the very first thing that happens. Literally the first moment of the fight, I am completely goddamn disarmed. Okay, well, I'm like almost here with this thing. Dude, and these fucking things hurt. These little bastards, man, they fucking hurt, dude. They really, really hurt. Um, go Misty Step Lazel over here and start wailing on this thing. Be smarter things I could do in this fight. Um, oh, I mean, if we die, oh, well, that was dumb. Uh, I mean, if we die, we'll just try again, I guess. There must be smarter things I can do in this fight for sure. Holy shit! Must be. I mean, I don't know. I'm. You know what? It, it's it's rough when you go into a fight and you don't know anything about what you're about to experience, right? Like I don't fucking know, dude. I've never seen this fight before. Time for a new approach. How would I know? 
Um, okay, still alive. Uh, I kind of want to misty step next to this guy and eat him for a heal, but that's not going to work because that was my action. Never mind. We've almost got all of his fucking buddies. Ah, uh, well, he's dead. I will ascend. Now I can revive him, though. I can use the cleric chick and revive him. With no soul to motivate it, the affected entity has disadvantage on tax rolls and all ability checks until a restore soul is cast on a soul pillar or Raphael. Restore soul? What? <laughs> what is that? Do I have that? Do we have restore soul? So I have this. Uh, divine intervention. That was sick. So he has, but now Asterion has no soul. <laughs> That's the problem. Now he has no, no soul. Once in a lifetime. I mean, I don't give a fuck about this bitch. Hope. Who cares? I mean, would you miss it? <laughs> Just to miss your soul. Um, let's see, uh, Misty, surely I have a scroll of Misty step. I have several. Yeah. I want to go this way. Now Misty step here. And now let's wail on this thing. Okay. He's only got the one thing left now. Nice. So it's just, it's just where he's running out of allies here. He sure as fuck running out of allies. I think he can still summon more, obviously, but. Uh, same. Does the streamer not realize, dude? The streamer doesn't realize. Oh my god, dude. I can't believe the streamer doesn't realize. Oh my god. Um, let's at least spread out. That way we can't all be hit. Might be a good time to go back and get uh, Asterion's weapons here. Can't you, you can only pick up like one at a time, right? Oh no, I can, okay. So, latest. So this one is main hand and this one is off hand. Bro, like it would take two turns to equip my weapons. That's so lame, man. I hate that shit. Go and hide. Disarm, yeah, disarm is crazy, man. He only got three HP from that. Maybe to a feat to equip two weapons in the same turn. Yeah, makes sense, probably, right? 
Hmm. Hang on. Wait, where is this guy? There is a reason why the streamer has 3,000 viewers max. He is dumb as fuck. I'm out. Bye. Uh, you know, like, I haven't even, like... First of all, uh, I have more degrees than you do. Second, I've been published. Third, uh... I haven't even lost in this. I haven't had, like, a party wipe in forever. Like, literally forever. Uh... Fourth, I'm fully aware that this um this is also tactician mode, by the way. Tactician mode. So first playthrough tactician mode. I'm I'm not done. I'm not done. I know I'm fully baited. I'm aware I'm baited. I'm not done though. Uh this is not my main game. The vast majority of my viewers have no interest in this game whatsoever. So let him have it. Following wait, was he really following for 14 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> trolls be trolls. Yeah. This streamer dumb, dude. Oh, uh, hang on. I would like to select Blazel. Um. I really wanted to get up there and attack this thing with Lazel. Maybe it's time to start. He only recovered two HP. Maybe it's time to start attacking this guy. No time to waste. Let me take a look at him here. Punish divinity. When hit with radiant damage, gives you reaction to stun the attacker. Okay, so apparently if I hit this guy with uh if I hit him with any of this, uh that's really bad. So if I hit him with div uh, divine damage, that's going to be bad. Hmm. I wonder what would work. Like, what if I did like uh, trip attack? High defense. I could try trip attack. Oh, yeah. Did that work? I knock him down. I think I did actually. What about menacing attack? Does that work? Dude. Does the streamer not realize Hope's green button is two massive 30 plus HP heals? Okay. I will give it. Um. I guess to start whooping his ass. Here's the thing if I hit him with Divine Smite, though. Oh, did I already get got by it? Okay, so. Divines, I, I might... Hitting him with Divine seems to be pretty bad. Okay. Also, what... Hi, first of all, gifts, I'm so. also colorblind. What massive green button are you talking about? <laughs> well, I'm colorblind. Is there... Am I missing one? What am I missing here? I'm also colorblind for the record. Streamer not realize uh, which one's green. <laughs> uh, I think it might be smart. What if I? I kind of want to bless. Uh, I was gonna bless. Uh, I don't think blessing is really worth it. Fourth, uh, fourth column, second row. Oh, the mat. Yeah, yeah. I know mask. I know that spell. Yeah, I'm aware. For the horde bard. Yay! That's not gonna work. Um. So Shadow Heart's kind of fucked. Um. That should be fine. Can't give up. Not now. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's move Shadow Heart here, and let's go back to her, and let's make. Oh, I was gonna try to make her not on fire. Uh no, it's like Hellfire. Never mind. Okay, let's do a uh. Where's the big heal? Not that one. This one. Take you there we go. Ready. Um. 
thing. Next one you just use. Shit, dude, Shadow Heart is so hot. Hobie Dog, thanks for the 14 months. Shit Given, thanks for 41 months. Sonzer, thanks for the gift sub. Mori the Magpie, thanks for 500 bits. Undisputed Bro, Rawson, thanks for the sub. Appreciate that, guys. Thank you very much. Hmm. I guarantee you he's immune to fire damage. Fire immunity, he's resistant to all kinds of damage, lightning resistant. So I guess, uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Team damage. Hope you're enjoying your time in Heckbarth. Yeah. Sadly, this is definitely Bar. I had to stop watching after he started insulting any chat member that pointed out his mistakes. I heard last stream Barb even went to a viewer's house and hid in their bushes until they came home from work. He didn't fight the guy or anything, he just kept challenging him to a debate and being a real jerk about it. I still need to take out this fucking Pillar of Souls thing. Like, I really do. Uh, let's go equip this second weapon. Let's go. Okay. Fucking hurt. I thank you for the gifts. So. Oh, that fucking hurt too. Can't use a potion. Uh the Chad over the cringe. Uh, Entropic, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. I, I'm sorry. I don't really care what you guys are talking about right now. <laughs> this one, you don't really care. Um, go ahead and heal everybody. All that stuff's not really going to do much. I feel like blessing could be good. Bless your gear. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and bless everybody. Why not? And let's pull you back because you're really not going to be useful in the fight. Um, let's jump up here. I think this is the last pillar. It's almost down. All right, so he's got no more fucking pillars. Fun fight. When I did it, he killed Hope on the first turn after he morphed. <laughs> yeah, the game was like, uh, yo, ADI thinks 32 months. Floppy Wiener thinks 21 months. The game was like, oh, if you do that, you're going to piss him off. And But I don't really know that that had any effect at all. I don't know if it did much. Um... I wonder if I have anything I can do to him. Flame strike is not going to be great. I think I should probably heal Gabnon. You know, I, I feel like the healing spells are a little unintuitive in this game. Because I feel like, to me, it would be like, you know, you know, in Darkest Dungeon, how there's two spells in Darkest Dungeon. There's like, do you want to concentrate your heal on one character, right? Or do you want to spread out small heals on everybody? In this game, it's like, do you want a small heal or do you want a, uh, a heal on everybody or a big heal on everybody? It just seems a little 
Seems like a little like I, I wouldn't imagine it works that way, but that, that's just that's just the way it works, I guess. Uh, I can't reach him. Gabmon's in a lot of fucking trouble here. Let's go do the big. The he's he is actually in a decent amount of trouble. I can cure your gear. <laughs> Uh, you know what? May as I guess may as well. And we blessed your gear. All right, let's uh, pull Shadowheart away from this shit. Holy shit! God damn, dude, your gear is fucking cracked. Nice. Uh, I'm glad I healed Gabnon. He might be dead already to the fire, right? <sighs> okay, do the uh, lay on hands on myself. I feel like I have much of a choice. And I think I can use a potion of healing. Healing. Is this the supreme healing? Go ahead and give me one of these potions of supreme healing. Okay. I have to be able to touch you. I could try a ray of frost on this guy. I think it's it's well, he's got 50% chance, I guess. Uh mage armor. Hmm. Divine strike radiant. Yeah. Detected. What? That is not what I meant to do. Fuck, I meant to go over here. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Whatever. All right, that's fine. Okay. All right, Lazel, let's do your thing. I We know he can be tripped. Do menacing attack melee. We frightened him? Oh, he's scared. Cannot move and has disadvantage. Okay, he's fucking scared. Let's go ahead and trip attack him. And he's on the ground. Uh, how about soul breaker? Let's give him a soul breaker. Yeah. I'd be scared of Lazel too. And heal everybody. Um, I guess I may as well try like a divine. Yeah, let's hit him with divine fire here. Okay. Uh, I think we've got him. I don't know, man. I think I think we got him. I'm gonna miss him, dude. I'm gonna miss this guy. Unless he has like a phase two or something. Ooh, can I like, can I run at him? I wanted to attack, asterion has got all of his weapons equipped. I kind of wanted to attack him. I don't think Ninja I have Turtles. a great way to get over there though. Oh, I can use cunning action dash. Okay, that's what I'll do. All right, we'll run over there. I can actually sneak attack melee him too. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Asterion. Frightened and stunned. Miss! 
Yeah, I know. He ain't got much longer. He ain't got much longer, does he? Incredible as it seems, we really did defeat Raphael. I did like the Disney villain music. GG's. Thank you for doing this fight, even though you lost your contract. Dude, this streamer's so stupid. That's why he only has 3,000 viewers. This streamer's so dumb, dude. made a choice she sided with Raphael. I don't think there's any way to save her. I don't think there's any way to save her. Yeah, this game is like this game is like an easier version of Mario versus Rabbids. But as a wise woman once said, there's no point in crying over spilt blood. We must go on. And despite all the years I've lost, I have enough love in my heart to guide you home. For the first time since you heard her voice, hope seems calm. And the peace flows <laughs> exactly into you, no actually if you have more than one viewer you're in the top like 90 percent of twitch already actually uh where will you go that you should come with me and go where i don't think i quite know how to be anywhere else but here anymore with a leg of paint and a thorough cleaning this could be a so she's gonna stay in hell. I like that she's got the triple X tattoos. After all, who would ever want to think of hell without hope? I hope I'll see Carilla again one day, and that she'll say sorry, and I'll tell her she's forgiven. I hope. Man, I find all if your gear had been mind, our enemy there, all those years. I would have been dead. I don't think I would have beat that, actually. <laughs> I don't think I would have beat this. I think I would have fucking destroyed. Yeah, there's no way, dude. And that you'll visit me here someday. And I hope you have a happy ending of your own. Gloves of soul catching. Your unarmed attacks dealing death. I swear they've given me so much shit for unarmed attacks. Once per turn on an unarmed hit, you can re regain 10 HP. Wow. That's crazy. That's so good. Apparently it gives you two constitution also. That's so good for a monk. Man, I'm going to miss Raphael, dude. I'm going to miss him. Wow. That's crazy. Raphael's diary. Oh, we got to read this, right? While I have cast the net of my contractual predilections both far and wide, never have I been so attracted to mortals as I am to those infested by the tadpole. These particular fish find themselves splashing toward their doom toward a steel hook unblemished by bait. How they resist the current. How inexorable its whelm, its tug, its dark undertow. At the other end of the fishing pole, the illithid. How their tentacles must quiver like cooled jelly at the prospect of more catches. More and more each day along the troubled river, the troubled river bank. Cross has a name I sample now allowed to savor its taste. Ceramorphosis. I shall make crafty use of this development. With the hook glinting and death so close, what could loom larger in the stricken fish's mind than the prospect of rescue? So, okay. Last night I dreamt of a river, waist deep I waded it. Rusted hooks curled up from the water like the snaggled teeth of something ancient, diseased, and submerged. The moon over the water cracked and fire blew out of the stubby wings of gormless, insanely chirping chicks. They transformed into wriggling oblongs like sperm, and by the time they hit the water, they were fish with scales of orange and gold. There came a rustling sound. The dark water ablaze with the fish were matches in the river, a snake of oil. Approaching me out of the flames came the tadpole infested. There was one among them who spoke for the rest. They gestured to the melting hook, suddenly glanced my way, and in their face I saw they had the best of me. 
In waking, my courage is firm. I progress my plans for the tadpole even now. I am Raphael. I am not easily bested. Hmm. The plot thickens, goes the aphorism, entirely inadequate. The plot mutates. It fluctuates. I have conceived no less than 13 variations which I must seize the car crown of Carsis. In the tumult of the eternally flowing river of schemes, I, the most careful of fishermen, finds this catch elusive and difficult to wrangle, even in cooperation with such ambiguity and delicious surprise. Hook a snag, the doom of Ceramorphosis has abated, yet they could not predict, could they, could they, that in leaving behind the river they have in fact welcomed the fishbowl. I am master here, a prince of bargains cloaked in cunning like scarlet satin, all that hidden under sublimely obvious truths that cannot be discounted. The fishman reels, the tadpole are my catch, Struggle as they might, writhe as they wish, flop and squirm and thresh with every ounce of strength, no matter. Uh, I will not be denied. So, like, so like basically, he was planning to fuck us. <laughs> like, basically, it's like, yeah, I'm gonna fuck you guys. Pretty bad, actually. How much farther can I go? Pretty much gonna fuck us. Um. What happened to. Oh, your gear's here. Imagine if your gear could become, like, your party member. How cool would that be? Yeah. Up, you killed your ear. I can't believe the devil would be mean to me. <laughs> it's not that I thought he'd be mean. I never thought like we're friends now. We're gonna get along great. I never thought that. What I thought is, man, this Raphael guy is pretty cool. I want to see what happens. That was my train of thought. They were like, man, this Satan guy's a nice guy. I think I like this guy. Oh, he's awesome. No, I just thought he's kind of cool. I want to, I am. Don't worry. I'm going to talk to him. Don't worry. Or I'm going to go get my long rest here. Here goes nothing. Apparently, Asterion got his soul back. Yeah, apparently. Maybe not. What? Might not be the time. Why is this not the time? Maybe. Absolutely, it's the time. God damn it. All right, let's go uh, back in. Let's talk to uh, your gear. How is this not the time? It seems like a great time to me. I disagree. We should hear Satan out. Only one shower. Beth, I have a headache. <laughs> Drink the devil water. That was a tough fight for sure. Um, I felt like the dragon was harder. I think the dragon was harder. Uh, thank you very much, Delita Strim. Thank you for 21 months. Spork Boots, thank you for the bits. All right, what's up, Yogear? You fought well. We could use such strength in the blood war. <laughs> now I'm free of Raphael's blasted contract. I can return to the front lines. So this guy also had a contract. Uh, I think you've earned a break. Hunting shadows in a temple for a hundred years was a break. I'd have slain a score of demons before you have your next hot meal. <laughs> Whoever your enemies are, they have good reason to fear you. And I'll gladly lend you my skills against them when the time comes. Until then, good luck to you, little rabbit. You're a finer hunter than any wolf. Wait. Can we, like, call him in somehow? No, we can't do that, right? Okay, I think I'm going to swap this armor for this armor. Uh, this raises my armor class to 22. Uh, it also makes me resistant to fire and shit. I think we're going to go with the Helldusk armor. So what's Lazel's armor? This is heavy armor. I don't think Shadowheart can wear the heavy armor, right? I'm pretty sure she can't. It allows me to fly. I could already fly. I have I have multiple flies now. <laughs> Okie dokie. So you wormed your way into the devil's lair, risked mind, limb, and freedom, and destroyed the contract that bound you. The contract you never should have signed. 
Uh, I was curious. I wanted to understand what the devil had to offer. There is only one thing to understand about a devil. It serves only itself. Anything it promised to deliver, it would recover tenfold. You realized the error of your ways and corrected them. No, I wouldn't say that. You would do better not to err in the first place, especially when there is so much at stake. You saw for yourself what the Chosen are capable of. But did you also see their weakness? Uh, no. <laughs> it was their union that made them. They had an almost flawless plan to dominate Faerun, but their distrust is their undoing. We must not fall into the same trap. We must trust. Shadowheart, stop staring at me. I never asked to be stuck with you. I'll work with you, but I'll never trust you. I never asked to be stuck with you. I could say the same of you after all we shared. Nonetheless, our fates are bound. And in the absence of a happier union, I will accept a useful one. You may think yourself ingenious for having slain a devil. But you have merely ironed out a wrinkle. The Elder Brain will not be such an easy foe. It is time we resume our journey to find it. Yeah, yeah. Bullshit, bullshit. Oh, is Helsinki going to ask for the gauntlets? Because I'm not giving her the gauntlets. <laughs> She's not getting the gauntlets. Just ignore her. Don't talk to her. Uh, I kind of want to see what she has to say, actually. Give that armor to Asteria now. Which armor? Uh, Asteria can't wear... I think maybe he can wear light armor. But... Um, I don't have... You know what, actually? Check it out. If I give this to Asteria... If I give that to Asterion, I think he gains a little bit of HP. Wait, wait, it's not heavy? It says legendary heavy armor. Literally says legendary heavy armor. Trips to the Hells are usually one way. Especially when the traveler causes the kind Read of it? trouble no. you Read it? No. No, I'm not going to. I knew you were a thief. Didn't realize you were a killer. Raphael's death is already causing quite a stir across the Hells. It's a rare thing for a mortal to slay a devil of his stature. In all the excitement, I hope you didn't forget our bargain. Do you have the gauntlets? No, I'm wearing it. <laughs> I'm wearing it. Let's try it. I'm literally wearing the gauntlets. That invalidates our deal, I'm afraid. I fulfilled my part of the bargain, so you owe me the fee I proposed initially. Uh, I'm leaving with the gauntlets. <laughs> There's nothing Mammon likes less than a welcher. Get the hell out and never come back. All right, fuck you. <laughs> I mean, like, what are you going to do about it, right? Hi. Thanks. <laughs> Wait, did you just tell me you didn't, you didn't have the gauntlets? You lied? <laughs> All right, let's take a long rest. You just killed her. F5 and fighter. Meh. All right, let's... Oh, hang on. I want to see my new underwear. Bro, check out my new underwear, dude. Hell yeah, man. Shadowheart's got some new undies too. Go talk to Shadowheart. That little hideaway that we found in the cloister. It almost felt like I'd found a piece of my childhood. Childhood I don't truly remember. But remember it or not, I felt right at home there. 
surrounded by books and uh Krovax, thank you for 34 months crosszilla thank you very much appreciate that this is the scene when your mom walks in and you're like no don't look <laughs> want to go and spend some more time there <laughs> don't tempt me might find it hard to leave well, can you imagine what it would have been like growing up in that place? Endless training, no privacy, facing scorn wherever I looked. My ways. I can very easily imagine I needed somewhere to escape to. Parady, thank to you for the 42 months. Thank Not you, Parady. I must have come here a lot. We probably had plenty we wanted to hide from. Anyway, I think that little hideaway helped shape who I am. As much as any sermon or training did. Funny the things that influence you. Mm. Let's see. About the night song. Yes. I think I have the night song. Was I supposed to do something with it? <laughs> I felt like the world had been upended. Was I supposed to do something with it? But it also made perfect sense. My parents are alive, and I have to save them. No, they dead. They died. Part of me Wasn't it? That. But it's also a weapon, right? Wasn't there a weapon Part we got from all that? Denied to me. Well, I know. I know that it was the almost angel. fifty months, Barblav. Not if you enjoy having your head attached to your neck. She stole my family from uh, me. Shoxy, thank you for 49 months. Whatever reason she has isn't good enough. Oh, the spear is just a spear. We'd better press on for now and hope we're ready when the moment comes. But before that, there's one thing I need to see too. Uh, and what's that? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. Okay. So she wants something or other. Okay. Uh, let me go see. I'll, I'll try to go to sleep and see if anybody else wants to talk to me. Gift non looking good. Oh, no, apparently not. Alrighty. Backlog dialogue for. I have talked to every character I possibly could. That was a sexy odd uh, thing that you should read the armor again. You should fuck off. All right, so I think we're done here. Let me sort by, uh, I guess, like, by type or something. Be nice to, like, I, my inventory is definitely a mess. <laughs> it's definitely, definitely a, a messy inventory. For sure. Um, oh, so you're considered proficient while wearing this armor is the deal. Okay. But like theoretically, I could give the armor back to them and then give a stare on this one. Does this uh, have a problem with like stealth checks or something? It would raise the armor class. Yeah, yeah, I see that. So while you wear the armor, you're proficient with it. I get it. I understand. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and leave camp. Did I romance everyone or just Shadowheart? Uh, I was starting to romance Shadowheart, and then and then Lazel came on to me, and then I was like, all right, well. <laughs> I said, why not? Okay, so I think now we d we did the House of Hope. I I'm sure that there's other quests we can do. But, um, let's see. Show this on the map. We have to go back to the Temple of Ball around here. So, like, this is this is where we need to go up here. This is towards uh, Confront the Elder Brain. I guess that's where we're going. So we're heading north from here towards the end of the game. I think that's it. I will be very sad when this game is over. Hey, babes, everything okay? Ooh, baby. Good morning. You were so sleepy. Hi. Hi, good morning. Yeah. Sleepy baby. All right. I'm hungry. Gadnon made Lazel blush. Um, okay, we're gonna go west a little and then north. Okay, honor mode next. I would definitely like to play Baldur's Gate 3 again. I definitely would. Babies, yep, babies. 
Let's carry both babies at once. Uh, it is incredibly difficult to do anything with two babies at once. Really fucking hard, man. <laughs> it's impossible. You pretty much need like another set of hands at all times. Uh, it's really tough. Did I finish Final Fantasy VI? I have not finished Final Fantasy VI yet. You're missing so much. I mean, I think I missed a lot since the beginning of Act One, dude. I think I missed I missed everything from Act One. Like I missed a bunch. That's just the way this game goes. I probably did something in this. I probably did something that you missed in this run. That's kind of how this game is, right? If I missed, I think if I missed anything, probably the most I missed was in Act One and Two, actually. Uh, there's a chest over here. Well, Act Two kind of fucks you, right? Doesn't it kind of screw you over if you like didn't do the if you didn't do something correctly? It's like, oh, you can't go back. You're screwed. Wait, did I find the clown's legs now? Severed leg. Is this the clown's legs? Oh, okay. Uh, bro, not the clown's legs. Yeet. Uh, let's see. We got some wine. Evading the elder brain. The emperor, as interrogated by Gortash. So wait, Gortash and the emperor. They met at some point? They knew each other? I didn't know they ever met before. Gortash captured the em the Emperor at some point? Huh. We captured you a rogue, an autonomous illithid beyond the power of the Elderbrain that transformed you. I must have... I do... If I missed it, I'm sorry. It's been 90 hours. If I missed it, I forgot. I'm sorry. We brought you back to the psionic ambit of our hovering friend, the Absolute. Your defensive world realm, you return to your former servile state. Also correct. How did you escape the control of the Elder Brain in the first place? In my original human form, I possess an exceptionally strong personality. So much so that even after Sarah Morphosa, I was still substantially myself. Of course, I concealed this beneath a semblance of perfect servitude. I thought it was the dragon that saved him. I thought it was his dragon buddy. That's why the Elder Brain was willing to send you out of the colony on scouting missions. Yes, I told you before. How long did you feign mental slavery before you were able to escape? 13 and three quarters years. So finally, you were given a mission to Baldur's Gate, distant enough to be out of the Elder Brain's control. That is correct. Remarkable. That is correct. And you don't mind that we've brought you back into Santa control? I am entirely devoted to the needs of our Elder Brain and of its masters. You're not lying about that, right? That would be impossible. Interesting. This is all something that happened before. Very interesting. That must have been before he escaped their control it must have been before that or something i don't know uh there is no turning back okay let's do it pristine darkness in every direction Why the fuck is Shadowheart's hair a different color? What <laughs> the hell happened? As your vessel cuts through. You keep getting frustrated with this game and quit? That was supposed to happen two acts ago. Shut the fuck up. Her bangs don't look stupid anymore. She doesn't look like one of the aliens from Galaxy Quest anymore. Yeah, I don't know about swimming in a full suit of armor. 
I fell in brain water. An overwhelming force pushes into your mind. The brain. It is here. I couldn't believe it was literally a giant brain. Okay. I can fix her. It's my favorite party dip, uh, drip brain. What was the thing? Um, Thinking about swapping these this with uh, Shadow Heart, but I, I don't think so. Don't mind if I do. Let's see, inventory report, mug of beer. I wonder if you can do long camps here. Giant brain is yeah. Isn't there a giant brain in Darkest Dungeon too? Place again at some point and do an evil run. I would love to play this game again and just do a like. I think if I played the game again, I would do. Uh, completely different like like I did I bear I didn't use Dale at all I never used will uh, I think that would be super fun it'd be super fun I I think I was mostly good on this run I think I was mo I just killed Satan oh that that's pretty good right A headless corpse. Oh, let's see. Rocky start. Will is boring. Well, I, if nothing else, I'd be curious. It, even if Will may be like not a good character, I'd still like to um, try the warlock class. I'd like to see that. Yeah, I broke my oath. Yeah. I broke my oath because I wanted to let Asterion become the ultra, the uber vampire. Personal note. No, why I'm always wanting to set the smoke of goods in the high hall. I value my neck. Uh, it's only fair that I get a danger bonus for this work. So if you find this cash, because I'm keeping it here for my retirement. Um, bunch of crap. Malice. Or become blinded or poisoned. Interesting. All right. I'm going to finish the game with a million potions and scrolls that I never used. Yeah, monks can be fun. Yeah, I totally agree. My retirement grease. Exactly, exactly. Well, I mean, for a huge amount of this game, I had no idea what I was doing, like, for sure. Oh, hey, look, one of the, we haven't seen one of those things for a while. Intellect devourers are here. You're a wizard in this game. I think uh, I think a mistake I was making with the wizards at the beginning with with Gale anyway is that you pretty much constantly need mage armor on to not die. I think I think I wasn't doing that. Pretty sure that was one of my major problems. Also, the AI I think knows. You know, I think I'm gonna give Asterion all of my arrows because I'm not using them. Hang on. I am going to give all of these Asterion's the only he's literally the archer. So, he's got the he's got the only he's the only one that's actually competent with a bow and arrow. Let's give him all of that. Uh oh, shift click. No, that does. That doesn't work. <laughs> like alt click or something? I don't know. Darion's getting all the arrows. Click first and last. Hold shift, click first, click last. Oh, you mean like I can... Sl oh, that's what you meant. Okay, I, I see. Got you. 
you please pause the play through the game of the uh game of the year and play the elden ring only up mod i don't think so oh pass thank you trying to get over there uh no i have like misty step and dimension door and stuff is there like another way i could go okay let's go back up i could go that way but you won't embrace the only up meta i'm so glad the only up meta died actually because uh i for me I think only up 64 was the limit to the torture I was willing to endure. <laughs> so I'm glad it's dead. I'm glad it's dead. Darkest dungeon only down. Did I beat Rogelio? Do you mean uh, Raphael? Because yes, I did beat Raphael. In fact, I think, um, haven't I first tried like every fucking boss actually? I think I first tried, I first tried the dragon. I first tried, uh, uh, Gortash, not Kazador. That's true. Kazador killed me a couple times. Uh, that's because I, I was about to win and I got fucked also. Uh-oh. the fuck jeez man so when this thing dies it's going to explode apparently jeez man Heidberg in chat. Fuck is the deal, the deal with these fucking brains, huh? How many brains are there? What the fuck? <laughs> How many goddamn brains are there? Probably I flames. Thank you very much. Really appreciate the tier three. Welcome back. Thank you very much. I might do a, a low level spirit guardians here, actually. Man, that shit sucks. Jeez. Man, fuck that. Here we go again. Okay. Is your whole Baldur's Gate 3 uh, playthrough going on YouTube? Yes, it is. Yes, the entire playthrough will go on YouTube. Um, I think the YouTube playthrough just got to Act 3, I want to say. Oh, nice. That worked out very nicely.
So where is this uh, last one? Okay, it's like way... Uh, well, not that far away, but over there. Taste my fury. Okay. Even the booba? At least part of Act 3 is how you spend almost all of it at level cap. Yeah, it would have been nice. I feel like they could have like adjusted the EXP stuff so that you didn't it didn't have to be that way. I can agree with that. I feel like I haven't spent that much time being at max level, but we have spent a while at max level for sure. Hmm, you know, I never use this. Let's use the scorching rays of fire on this thing. I never fucking use this thing. Let's go use it now. There we go. That way I don't have to get close to that shit. Okay, one more intellect gl glutton coming in. Leave no trace. I think one, uh... I should do it. Okay, let's go take a short rest and recover here. Alrighty. Uh, Spaceballs, the Twitch account. Thank you for the 38 months. Night, thank you for the 14 months. Thank you very much. Well, they probably assumed that, like, at some point, you probably wouldn't want to do literally every quest in the game, right? And level up. Ah! Final boss defeated. I probably assume, like, at some level, you're not going to want to do whistles. literally everything. Uh, Twisted Orb, thank you for the 46 months. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that, dude. Now, when, when the brain is calling me Thrall, is it calling me her Thrall or the Mind Flayer's Thrall? Calling me the Emperor's Thrall. Doesn't sound from spells and a rule set with D&D. No, both. do everything. Even the stuff that is mutually exclusive. Okay. Uh, chest. Fuck that door. Hastily written note. Uh, Wafflem, thank you for the 67 months. Thank you, Wafflem. Man, I am fucking hungry. I'm sorry, let's tell you. I held them off as long as I could. The thing that's been digging in my mind like a burning wick. Uh... Burning wick melting a candle. Its voice cuts through my eardrums into my spine. The others, what was done to them, I can't face it. You fought so hard to chisel our place in the Baldur's Gate. Please forgive me for not being as strong. Did the character of did the character of Baldur slash the Emperor, did he ever appear in a previous Baldur's Gate game? Or, or is this uh is this his first time appearing? Any changes to the rule set? Not that you're aware of. This is his first appearance in anything D and D related. Oh, okay. Big fucking brain. Also, you that crown is huge. Why you are here? You think that by killing the chosen and taking the Nether Stones, you can destroy me? You are wrong.
listen to it. Use the stones. Hmm. Can you romance the brain? Uh, what were my expectations for Mario versus Donkey Kong? Uh, my expectations are that it's going to be a kind of easy, kind of slow, uh, I don't know how particularly interesting, kind of like little puzzle game that maybe will be occasionally cute. And that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. But I'm welcome to being uh, wrong about that. I'm welcome to being wrong about that. Perfect time to ask that question. I mean, let's be real here. We're all, we are, we are watching Baldur's Gate, but in reality, in our mind, we're all just hoping Mario just suddenly happens. Like, let's be honest here, right? Are you planning on playing it? Yes, I will be playing Mario versus Don. We're just hoping that somehow this becomes a Mario stream somehow, right? Not fucking me. Yeah, it's all we're actually hoping for here. Muster the full might of your physical form. Throw it into breaking through the brain's defenses. Yeah, do that. We're gonna throw it? Uh-oh. Thank you for the raid. I can use giant form. Uh, yo, Ain Run, thank you for the raid, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Ain Run. Uh, if you're coming in, welcome. I know Ain Run's also playing Baldur's Gate. No, he's also playing Baldur's Gate. Uh, I think uh, you you may not want to watch because we are on uh, we are looks like we're really close to the end of the game I think uh, here let me turn off follower mode here release there we go release the Raiders yeah I understand you probably don't want to see too much but yeah we're uh, you're yeah yeah this is early act three I got you. you still got a ways to go but welcome on in we're playing Baldur's Gate uh, freedom yeah be free and uh, I think we're we're kind of finishing up I've I've hey, also been playing on Tactician so. also I know Aid Runs also played on Tactician. Is he kicking everything? All right, let's go ahead and use my, use this, use this, and use that. Let's use it all. I didn't, I didn't even need it. <laughs> I didn't even need it at all. Uh, what are birds? Thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you very much. Some Goku shit. Focus on the crown. Bow before the glory of the nether brain. Charisma. Dexterity. The crown is an unmissable target. Set in your sights and trust that you will strike true. I think we have very low dexterity. Aim for the crown and try again. Let's go charisma. I'm gonna go charisma here. Uh oh. What happens if you fail these? <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> what happens if you fail all these? I can't win this. strong you are mighty you will dominate the brain we are pretty strong we already used the potion and everything 30 what the fuck 30 are you supposed to fail this what the hell man <laughs> jeez i'm rolling again is pointless I like my, like, Goku poses. And you, you had your role to play, too. Who do you think told the Chosen about the Astral Prison? Who do you think 
enchanted the knowledge of Orpheus's power and the fear of what it could do. When the Chosen sent my thralls to retrieve the prison, who do you think let the Emperor slip its leash, knowing it would be the one to bring you? So everything was the Elder Brain's plan. Big brain am winning again. You have liberated me. This was your role. And it is complete. Now you will witness the grand design. Again! The grand design must not come to pass. Ah, uh, I dominate the brain. Strength. <laughs> What the hell, man? Roll again. <laughs> what happens if you roll? What happens if you roll? 20! We rolled a 20! If anything we did mattered at all. Should be rather alarming. Oh, are the Nautiloid ships arriving now? see somebody becomes uh, a mind flayer. I don't think we've seen that. Oh, uh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> That's what I was hoping to see. He's gonna suck out his brains. You almost had it. You almost had it. <laughs> that was a good try. <laughs> I pulled you out just in time. The situation is worse than I thought. This is an elder brain. No longer. 
The magic of the crown has caused it to evolve. It has become something more. A nether brain. I thought another stone was supposed to allow us to dominate the brain. Did you expect this? Uh I was as surprised as you were. It has been anticipating our every move from the start. I underestimated it. We will need to rethink our plan. Uh, okay. <laughs> Is that it? So... We have the Triune Netherstone. So doing all that shit with that... That was all his plan. Or the, the brain all intended for that to happen. We sometimes freedom requires us to make sacrifices. All these uh intellect devourers here. Oh, so these are the if I use the hammer the hammer that I got from Satan, that's how I could break him out, huh? That's how I can break him out. Let me talk to the Emperor. Let's see what the Emperor's got to say. I don't know if letting him out would do anything, right? Would that even do anything? I don't know. Let's talk to the Emperor. I have assessed our encounter with the Netherbrain from every angle. I know why we failed. The problem was not the stones. The problem was you. You can make only one move at a time, but the Netherbrain calculates every possible move at once. It knows what you will do. It knows everything you could possibly do. You cannot outmaneuver it. To defeat it, you would have to think like an Alithid. Better yet, be one. Your mind is not capable of this. Mine is. You will give the stones to me. I will assimilate Orpheus, and then I will be able to leave this prison to face the brain. Assimilate him? Skvah! No! Now is the time to liberate him! Do not stand against me. When you say assimilate Orpheus, what do you mean by that? I will consume his thoughts. His knowledge, his brain. So you would kill him? He is Gith's heir. You'd be the Gith Yankee people's betrayer. You'd be my betrayer. I realize he is of some significance to you, but he is of even more value to our cause. I hey, the wheel of the stones myself, I became an illithid and assimilate Orpheus? In theory. Yes. You have embraced transformation so far, but this would be a complete evolution. And you will be an illithid for the rest of your days. Is this really something you would be willing to accept? Before you decide, let us speak. The Gith Yankee's power will see us. Okay. Hang on, I, I was just seeing my options. What does Lazel have to say? His only son has suffered long in his prison. Refuse the Emperor. Better yet, crush his revolting skull and let this prison be his grave. Then smash the crystals with the Orphic Hammer and free the Prince from his bonds. The Comet will guide us to a sure victory against the Brain. Chamar Sala Orpheus. Okay, what does Shadowheart have to say? Suppose we can't claim to be shocked. The Emperor's wanted us to embrace our powers the whole time. This is the logical final step. I... I can't face the thought of it myself, though. I've only just been able to start living on my own terms. I can't surrender that. You're the only one who can make this decision. So will we all become Seven mind flayers? I'll be by your side. We all become mind flayers? What does Asterion have to say? So, 
We can't wield the stones unless one of us becomes an illithid. Um, more of an illithid in your case. We could free the Gith Prince with your thick hammer. Perhaps he'll have a bright idea. <laughs> Maybe we should hand the stones over to the Emperor. What do you think? You're asking me? <laughs> oh, darling. I don't know. Flip a coin if you need to. <laughs> Personally, I'd use the hammer. Let Orpheus take the fall. What is he to us? We'll release Orpheus. Move. It's a gamble. But if we play this right, it could work well for us. I like Asterion. Let's see how this plays out. I honestly, I wish I'd had him the entire game with me. And don't get me wrong, I like, uh, I like Carlac, but Asterion is just way funnier to have around. Sometimes freedom requires us to make sacrifices. Okay, let's talk to the Emperor. I trust you have aired opinions and grievances and made your decision. Are you ready to become a mind flayer? No, I'm going to free Orpheus. All right, well, this seems like an important decision. I think I want to free Orpheus. After everything I've done for you, I thought you understood the value of your freedom when you destroyed the contract that bound you to deliver the crown. But now you insist on freeing the Gith Yankee and risking everything we work towards. I told you the Gith Yankee would only want to kill you for what you are. Still, you choose to break our alliance. I had hoped for better, but I can't say I'm surprised. It was always in your nature to give in to temptation. Very well. Since you will not work with me, uh -oh. you work against me. You leave me no option but to join the Netherbrain. What? You fucking join the side. We can free Orpheus. He joined. Wait, wait, wait. The whole thing is to stop the brain. The whole thing is to stop the brain. We gotta stop this the brain. This is a great game. He's like, well, I, I guess hope I'm you enjoyed the, the journey. Really? Good rules for the final battles. Really? We must waste no more time. Take the hammer and smash the crystals binding the Prince of the Comet. And be careful. Do him any harm, and I will bisect you. <laughs> Mercilessly, torturously, slowly. All right, all right, calm down. Relax. Uh, all right, ham Orphic, where is it at? Who's got the Orphic hammer? All right, you're the, you're the one holding the hammer, idiot. And take on this one. I'm really curious to hear what this guy's got to say. Addis Troll, thank you for 38 months. KJ Gisherson, thank you for the 18 months. Thank you very much. Pretty chill. Majesty, the prince of the comet gives true air. It is an honor. Do not patronize me. You rejected the illithid when it no longer suited your needs. No doubt you freed me because it suits you now. I will neither forgive nor forget your abuse of my powers. The Emperor held all the cards until now. I freed you at the first opportunity. I had no choice without your powers. I would have died. Uh, 
it. You're free now, aren't you? Let's see, I freed you at the first opportunity. That is false. You had the opportunity to surrender yourself to my honor guard. They would have given you a noble end. Any worthy individual destined to become Gake would have done so. My guard would have freed me, and I would have stopped the Elder Brain before it evolved into a Nether Brain. All that suffering, avoidable, were it not for the choices you made. Let's not bicker and argue about who killed who. But there are lots I'll ignore that. Do you so have an idea how to stop the brain on your soul? Uh, Juxala, so you should have just let yourself die. When we bicker, the Netherbrain is actually in the grand design. We need to stop it. In this, we are aligned. I am obliged to overlook your transgressions. This is supposed to be a happy occasion. Together ...and put a stop to this nascent empire before it expands into the stars. The Gake was correct about one thing. The Netherbrain's power is beyond us. The hardest metal in the world would not cut through its mind, for it is made of thought itself. At this point, it will take an Elithin to unleash the full potential of the Netherstones. <laughs> so somebody, it's right back to where we were before. Someone, someone needs to turn into a mind flare. You willing to do that? Just as I was free. I will end the grand design. My prince, you can... This is not your burden to bear. So, you're a real hero. <laughs> or I can become... I don't know, man. I become a squid? I don't know which one to do. Let him do it or I become it. Everybody is a hero in this mess. I wonder if I get to like keep using my weapons and shit. I don't know, man. Become squid. I honestly don't know. Your your perfection. Go get Will. <laughs> yeah, we should have brought Will. Yeah, go for it, Will. There's no wrong choice. So, yeah. You broke your head. Become squid. Uh, sport boots. I have a question. I have a question. When you become an illicit, when you democratically resolve this. Do you like lose all your armor? Like you can't use your abilities. You have like a completely new class. Is that it? Oh, you still have all your stuff. The managed your attributes will change. You stay 100 percent the same. So you still get to use everything. Your stats change a lot. You keep all your stuff and gain more. Hmm. I don't let this fucking guy do it. You're a real hero. I'm letting this guy do it. Gabnon, stand Gabnon. My prince, no. Even in my darkest hours, I knew it was my destiny to save my people. I could never have imagined this would be the way. Give Kartavki crushed. Ow. Design is ended. Kill me. It is the very least you can do. Don't put your penis into him. Okay, well. Uh it's time for us to meet our fates and end this illicit night. That all could have gone better. Uh alright, portal to high hall. Uh hang on, let's save. I can't I actually I'm I'm actually shocked. 
that the emperor is like, well, I'm guess I'm gonna just gonna join the, the the really evil people. Like I'm I'm just gonna do. Yeah, it's fine. Like I, I I'm shocked. What was the point of the whole game? The whole game you were fucking like this. Uh, let me put back on my actual weapon here. Like I'm I'm really surprised. Like. All he is like entirely self-interested, isn't he? Entirely self-interested. Like that's it. I mean, that's not, that kind of seems that's the way it is, right? I guess so. All right. I don't really mad. I'm just kind of like, wow, kind of hard to believe he did that. Yeah. We saw what he did to his boyfriends, right? It's kind of the beginning of the game, right? It's only it's not bad i don't really i'm not saying it's bad writing i'm just surprised you know i'm just surprised okay so we actually we have orpheus here transfuse health psionic overload karsis compulsion channel the stones magic to control the crown of cars and dominate the nether brain uh displacer beast 85 i don't think i've ever seen that extract the brain Lobotomize a nearby creature that's stunned, prone, sleeping, or unconscious. Wow. He just has, like, all the illithid powers. And I guess, like, theoretically, I could have become... I could have had all those abilities, too, huh? Yet it is. Orpheus took this form so we could defeat the nether brain. Still want to attack? I'm ready when you are. Uh, we'll do this one. Orpheus, my prince. I like Voss. What's become of you? The grand design must be ended. A sacrifice had to be made. The duty fell to me. I am not long for this world or any other. What of Vlacketh? What of our liberty? You underestimate your own people. Their imaginations have kept the name Orpheus alive. I think this is the end. Yeah, we're getting close. There might be a few more fights, but yeah, I think this is it. My fate. Some will doubt. Some. I thank you for the gift, sub. Githyanki freedom means nothing if the grand design comes best. We need your help. Find your nerve, my friend. Today, we strike at the brain. This champion holds the key to the grand design's end. Answer to him as you would to me. Your majesty. I have spoken. As you wish. I stand at the ready. Your friendship. Your constancy. When I fell to despair, they elated me. Thank you, my friend. Shavazai. Shavazai. Now, to the nether brain. Let it be the first victim in the war for the skies. Call forth allies. Your allies have pledged to help you. You can summon them during combat with the horn button. Uh, where is that button? <laughs> where uh where the fuck is that button allies it's above my weapons oh call forth allies okay gotcha okay Let's see where are we going 
whole bunch of dead. Uh, oh, there's a, there's a merchant here. There's a lot of merchants we have lost here. Much already, and we will lose more before the day is out. But even when the last soul falls, Baldur's Gate will stand. For Baldur's Gate is more than just a city. It is more than a place of opportunity for those of mercantile spirit. More than a place of refuge for those who are lost. More than a home for friends, loved ones, and adventuring souls. Are there supposed Baldur's to be lots Gate of people here? Place where anyone can find what they need, if they're just willing to fight for it. Today, Baldur's Gate needs us. Today, we fight for... Your late friend? This is the one you spoke of. Aye, and forever will I sing the praise of the one who saved me from a century of horrors. This hero and no other can save this city from destruction. Of this, I am certain. The fist examines your illithid ally with suspicion. He was not expecting the savior of Baldur's Gate to be accompanied by a mind flayer. Appearances may change, but they do not mask the one within. This one, I know. Observe with whom it traveleth. Friends. This mind flare will fight with thee. It will save thy city and thy lives. I like withers. The fist eyes your lithid ally with suspicion, softening to curiosity. His hostility melting at the recognition that there's more behind I trust the mummy. <laughs> My steel is yours, and I'm not alone. The Moon Maiden's silver light can cut as sharp as any sword. I wield it this day. You can count on me, little rabbit. Hey! I'm squiddy friend. I thirst for the hunt. I'm in the mood to crack some skulls after that fuckery in the Temple of Baal. The City Watch will be glad to oblige me. Not sure what I have to offer a mind flared, if I'm honest. But I hope my words of encouragement and reassurance will strengthen your uh, resolve. The journey has been brutal, but I stand here a hell rider once more. This guy's more, cool. And I would die a proud man if I died this day. My dark forces are at your command today. We have a common goal. Glad to have you with us, and not a moment too soon. The air is thick with anticipation. They're expecting a speech, something to stir their hearts and put fire in their bellies for the fight ahead. Getting up there. Embrace your courage, let it guide you through battle. Don't give in to fear. Our freedom depends on your bravery today. You are the guardians of the city. We fight to defeat the nether brain. We fight to take control of the crown. To blood, death, and slaughter. A fight well fought and a brain well burned. Uh, embrace your courage, let it guide you through battle. Don't give in to fear. <laughs> well said. We'll prepare ourselves. We'll be ready when you call upon us. Baldurin's grace be with you. Okay. Oh, we had a couple. Look, we got a couple people here, right? We got a couple. Not that bad. Uh, does this guy sell you stuff? These bloods. This is the dream. You are smart. Oh, so I guess it's like your last chance to like buy stuff, I guess. All right. Sure. Uh, talk to me, talk to me, Goose. Thank you for the six months. Thank you. Talk to me, Goose. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hell's advocate. Uh, upstairs. Stairs we go up. Oh, I see something flying around there. Our two year old loves watching your crossword in the morning. Uh, Nod Trooper, thank you for the 43 months. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciate that. Up we go. It's a bit crowded in here. Uh, uh huh. <laughs> what the fuck is this? A winged horror. What the 
fuck are you? Weird. Uh, let's see. The lightning spear demons. My fiance and I watch your crosswords on VOD every night. Oh, that's so cute. Let's crack it. Boss defeated. Sure. Open it up. Me and wife keep the volume low. <laughs> Uh, sure, another arrow, a uh, potion of gaseous form. Okay, sure. Uh, so I'm not sure which way to go. Oh, maybe, uh, hang on, hang on one second. Was I supposed to like jump off the roof here? What was I supposed to do? Potion of become fart. Well, I could like fly, um, but I don't think my allies could. Like, I guess not. Okay, well, let me go back down. <laughs> kind of keck move. Genius plays. This is why I don't like the streamer because he's so dumb, dude. He's so stupid. That's why he only has 3,000 viewers. Um. Oh, there's a door, right? <laughs> okay. I think we're still going this way. Everybody's running away, so I assume we're going the right way here. This is how the city watch valiantly defends its homes. It's over. There's a glimmer of something beyond his words, but in a moment it's gone, consumed with fear. One last run, then we're clear. So wait, can you not like? Is there any way to convince these guys to not be such bitches? <laughs> you probably need like insight or something. Stop running, you cowards. Apparently, a lot of a, mo a lot of mind flayers were here dead. Yeah, it was too stupid, apparently. Uh, Illithid, Zealot of the Absolute. Okay. Uh, it also seems like, oh, man, there's like a fuckload of goblins and shit here, too. Oh, boy. Um... A lot of stuff, just unwise. Uh, go this way. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! This is gonna be rough, man. Are just like more enemies just aggroing everywhere? Oh, I can also uh, call forth allies. Oh, I can call. Wow! Check it out. Retinue of the Vampire Lord, Hell Rider Platoon. The Watch, Sword of the Silver Lights. Interesting. Hellstalker, Yurgir. Bro, Yurgir is sick. 
and Kithraki Inferno. Ah. Yeah, I like your gear a lot. Uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I guess I'll call something forward. Why don't we call in your gear? All right, your gear. Oh, yeah, brother. I think that that was the only option, only action he can take. Yeah, I assume that it was like a one-time deal. Okay, looks like Gabnon and Lazel get to go. Uh, let's see, Inquisitor of the Absolute. There's a whole bunch of stuff. I feel like the thing I would like to get after the most would be the Mind Flayer. Um, did you did. Do you want jump here? Did I block my fucking path with your gear? Is that what I did? Wanted to get over here. Uh, let's just go Misty Step over here. And I think the Mind Flayer are the thing I want to attack the most. Don't mind me. Uh, now let's see. Man, they got they got fucking spectators and winged horrors here too. My God, man, what don't what don't they have? <laughs> what fucking don't they have? Okay, so that's one down. Oh, do we also kill the... Apparently, we also killed... Wow, how did I one-shot the Winged Horror? Wow. Impressive. Okay, two Mind Flayers down. I don't know. Killed my own Illithin. Oh, I get to command. I thought he would just act on his own. I get to like actually command him. Okay, now concussive blast is really, we know how fucking strong that is. Um, Concussive burst. Um, is that how it works? I, I don't know how to do this. Hang on. Oh, okay. So I can just, can I just do this? It's just an action. I can do this every time I want to. Uh, okay. Uh, there's like no enemies here though, unfortunately. Can I hide? No. I'll say cluster of exp uh, explosives here. Let's uh do that. There you go. Oh, apparently I can just do that whenever I, wow. Okay. Can I shoot them? It says it's a ticking mine. Oh, are, they, are there actually two enemies behind me? Oh, there actually are. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't even see these guys. There we go. 
I think those mines are going to be pretty good, though. God damn it, that is not what I meant to press. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, your gear seems crazy. Uh, okay, so... As for Orpheus, I don't know what the fuck we're doing with this guy, right? I have no idea. Consumption. Blithid Arcanist. I want to attack this guy. Uh, fear stakes. Black hole. Uh, I can't do like black hole up here, can I? Oh, I can. Oh, that knock all hang on. I gotta see it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. That was a lot of goblins just died. So, obviously we have, uh... This guy is rough here. I don't know how much damage, like, my main attacks even... Like, if I were to go attack him, how much that would even do. Um... I could also go after this guy... Um, I guess I already, I did I already use my action. Oh, it says you can use stuff interchangeably when you're a mind flayer, right? Is that right? So I can just use whatever I want whenever I want. As always, thanks for everything. So I can like run up and do this uh, co potent concentrated blast or a mind blast. Um, what is permanent? I don't know what, dude, I don't know what any of this shit means. Okay, so if he was concentrating, that would be good. Is he concentrating on fire? No, he's not. I suppose let's wait ah! to do something to him. Let's go do. Uh, so mind blast is like a huge AOE, man. This is crazy. I don't know what to. F I don't. I. I feel like I. I don't know what to do about any of this shit. Uh, good cat. Thanks for the sub. Gall. Thanks for the sub. It's like too many options. <laughs> it's too many options. So let's do this. Do mind blast. Okay, he saved against it. Uh, let's go move you there. Hmm? It's like, yeah, it's like too much stuff that I've never seen before, so I don't know, I don't know anything about it. Don't you dare hurt your gear! How dare you! He's a precious angel. Your gear was a fucking piece of shit when I fought him, actually. It was a piece of shit. <laughs> uh, Orpheus is our ally. He is our ally. So we're not silenced anymore. Heading there. What exactly could Shadowheart even do? Right? What can you even do? I feel like Shadowheart's like useless. <laughs> I could, uh, bless. Uh, probably not much. Yeah, she can call allies too. Right here, go shoot a fireball at him. Okay, well, 
I guess, you know what? It got the counter spell out of that guy, so that's not bad. <laughs> Ow. Uh, sure, give him a hellish rebuke. Oh, okay. I was really hoping those explosives would go off. Do I agree with game of the year title after playing? Uh, I've had a fantastic time with this game. I, can, uh, I, I love this game. Um, I don't know. Maybe. I did also really love... Um, I guess we've got... There's a Mind Flayer still here. I also really loved uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake. So it's a bit hard. Just like Okay, we'll give him this illicit arcanist. We're gonna give him. Well, you know, go and give him a crit too. Too bad. Uh, so we got this fucking guy here. So this thing, I think these are gonna blow up when somebody gets close. I think, right? Uh, Orant, thank you for 38 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. 19. Dude, I gotta say, it is so fucking nice to have AoE. So goddamn nice. So he's invisible, right? Oh, it says I'm revealed, so I can't I can't go invisible. Alright, let's just go ahead and use infernal dagger on this guy. Go ahead. Poisoned him. Okay. Dude, AoE is I dude, I had that's one thing I haven't had this entire playthrough is AoE. I have not had AoE like literally the entire fucking time. But it's really nice to have it now. <laughs> What's up, Landvar? How's it going? Uh let's try a menacing attack on you. A trip attack. Can you trip something that's floating? He's immune to prone. That's fair. Pretty sure between Gabnon and you, you guys are going to be fucked here. Let's go ahead and use action surge. I want to kill this thing. I don't know how bad this thing's going to be. Okay. Start wailing on the mind flayer here. Okay. Cannot find path. Yes, you can. Bullshit. Surely you can fly somewhere. Can I jump? I can't fly. I'm just trying to get like here. There you go. All right. More enemies. Why not? Oh, he just like fucking kill himself. Okay, fair enough. Okay, let's hit this guy too. Mm, no reason for divine smite. Okay. Uh, is this game good? I didn't think he was gonna fucking kill himself. Uh, Baldur's Gate Three is an is an incredible game. It's a really fucking amazing game. We got more dickheads showing up. Okay, oh my god, we all got stunned by that mind blast.
Did they really avoid all of those fucking landmines? Oh, no, not all of them. <laughs> no, not all of them, I guess. Or did they just, they just blow up on a timer, huh? Dude, your gear is sick. I love your gear. Okay. Oh, so I can't do, uh, I can't do this anymore, huh? I guess this, uh, does it take like, uh, it says available next turn. I wonder why it's not available. Well, we're surrounded. So I figure we may as well start killing these guys. Right. Okay. Okay. Here I go killing again. Oh, there's a big, there's a big mama jamma troll up there too. I just now noticed. Okay, we need to go get this mind flayer right here. Not not that one. Uh there's there he is. We need to go get this guy. Okay. Oh, uh, I can't quite reach, so I guess let's uh shoot him for pathetic damage. Yeah. Oh, actually it's somehow that made him bleed. Oh, that's because of her uh her armor or whatever, right? Okay, all the all the mind flayers here are dead, so I think we're gonna. Ooh, I could fly up top here. There's an oh, that's what it's an ogre. Should I fly up here and take this guy out? May not be wise. This is like the highest concentration of enemies there. I think we should not. Uh, let's go prioritize killing the mind. Oh, no, the mind flayers already. Did. Let's let's prioritize killing these guys. Okay, fly is fucking crazy. Fly is crazy. Kabonk. Yeah, give him a divine smite and uh, kabonk again. Okay. Uh, David Labor, thank you for the resub. Thank you for the 24 months. Satan, thank you for the 39 months. 18 years already. Hope you are doing great, sir. Thanks, guys. I understand that the game is, is like, loading. I get, I get all that. But the, it is very disorienting to have the combat doing that to you all the time. It's very disorienting, for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and do our first crappy heal. And we're just going to kind of hang back here in this little tunnel back here. Right. It's because the arenas. I understand why it happens. It's still, it's still disorienting. I'm not like mad at it. It's just a little like a. Okay, so we can just nullify this, actually. Yeah, go ahead. Nope. I, I say no. Orpheus says no. Disorient. Right, right. I understand. I, I, like I said, I totally understand why. Don't you dare hurt your gear. The nope button. Your gear is an angel. I will not allow you to hit him. Still more mine. The mind flares are the ones that scare me the most here. So I can't move Asterion. And I don't think there's much he can really do, honestly. 
and just like hide. I could also, maybe I could do Misty Escape. Uh, but I'm still ensnared, so never mind, I guess. <laughs> I guess it does make him, he can't really be hit, right? So I guess it still works. Give me old Blasterinos there. And we'll go finish off this Intellect Devourer. Why couldn't I have had your gear in my party the whole game? That's my question. Okay, that's the thing that summons skeletons, right? Um, Still on my feet. Uh, let's see. All right, I'm going to fly up here, actually, and I'm going to go attack this person. Sure, Divine Smite. Shield. Yoink. <laughs> Always fun. Always fun. Ooh, I could also do, uh, I could use Orpheus and like suck out his brains, right? Uh, here, let me go attack this. We don't need more enemies here. Let's go get rid of that. And let's finish off this person. Okay. This little uh, defensive position I found here kind of worked out in my favor, didn't it? Kind of worked out in my favor. Yeah, a lot of death. Uh, thank you, David Labor. Appreciate it. This fight is overwhelming. I feel like I've actually had a worse fight than this. Um, this fight doesn't seem that bad to me. I want to think, like, what were some of the worst fights in the game? Um... Uh, I don't know. Let's see. My PC is struggling. No, it is not. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is low level for sure. It's the game. No, no, my, nothing has happened. Um... Oh, if I use that on him when he's ensnared, does that make him not ensnared anymore? Is that what that does? Oh, I see. Okay, I didn't realize that. Um, hmm. I guess let's go hit this guy with, well, I kind of can't hit him with Mind Blast, right? Here, let's go hit this person with Mind Blast. Yeah, Mind Blast is, uh, kind of strong, ain't it? Okay. Ensnared a fart cloud. I wonder if your allies and enemies here depend on what you did in the game. Probably, I would imagine. Uh, I would really like to heal uh, Sterion. Not much of a heal. There's really like no enemies around here. Uh, yeah, I used Black Hole and I killed like 50, 50 goblins at once. 
Hunger of Hadar. What is that? Two to twelve damage per turn. Okay. It's bad. Hey Dar. Hey Dar. Hey Dar. Still taking a lot of damage here. Uh, I can go fly somewhere. Hunger of Hadar. Let's go back. Let's dismiss Gash's form. Um, can I do cunning action dash? I'm going to go run at this guy and I'm going to go eat him. There you go. All right. Now let's do a uh, regular attack. Let's see what do we got infernal dagger on you uh i think i think i can't oh i actually can move just a little bit more here more i can't believe we are still aggroing enemies <laughs> here we'll give this chick an infernal dagger there we go and go attack again his attack's not great but his abilities are awesome Yeah, I'm going to use the Gift Yankee Psionics here for a jump. We're going to jump right next to this Mind Flayer. And I have no more movement, so that kind of sucks. Nothing else I can do. I guess let's go kill the Ogre up here. Oh, can I, uh, can I fly? Damn it, I can't fly there. All right, fine. Attack the Ogre. Okay. Made short work of that ogre. Yes, I did. There's a, there's a bunch of areas here I can't like reach. Go there. You can like repeatedly fly, huh? All right. End my turn. I was very happy about it. The big fuckers in our party. Yeah, I rolled a thirty. I rolled a thirty of charisma to get him against. He he helped us against uh, Raphael, and now he's here. He's one of my allies now. So. Everyone should have played this as a different experience. Yeah, I, I wonder what everybody's different experiences were for sure. Okay, we got to get you out of here. Can I fly you somewhere? Okay, that was no, nothing janky about that. What are my odds on shoving you? Not great. What are my odds on, uh, I could also do black hole again, I guess, right? Like, yeets. <laughs> okay, so he's got 76. Um, 
I don't know what kind of damage we do. It's probably not much, right? I guess let's just go attack. I'm kind of curious what the physical attack is. I Well, I use black hole to knock him off. Let's go attack him. Oh, apparently if you if you get hit by a mind flare, it's like a stun. Okay, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. I'm glad I tried that. Oh my god, Asterion just got fucked up. Okay, Asterion's in a lot of trouble. Can my mega heal reach him? No, I can't. Uh, I guess I could like dimension door over there too. Hmm. Eat his brain. Ah. Uh. But this is this enemy is an inanimate object. What? Weird. Oh, well, we broke the hunger of Hadar. So I can't see him, so my heal isn't going to work on Asterion. Asterion actually has one HP. He has one HP. Ooh. How am I going to make a Asterion survive this? Uh, okay, so this guy, I could, I could do the regular feed, which would give him some healing. Go invisible. Yeah, I have to like, I could like disengage and go invisible. I'm going to do vampire bite. Let's do that. And... Do main hand attack. This way. Yeah. He's got some dancing shoes on with all these dodges. Yeah. Your gear is sick, man. Um, okay, so I don't care if he hits me. I want to go here. You can go ahead and opportunity attack me if you like. I'm going here and say 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 hello to my little friend, bitch. <laughs> Hit him with the uh oh I don't have enough movement? Really? Oh my god, he's like right in front of me. Fine, whatever. Shoot him. Actually, let's try the uh let's try the volatile cluster here. Let's try that. Is he invisible? I can't tell if he's invisible or not. <laughs> I don't I don't think he is. How do you crit miss a cluster bomb? Uh, I had to not watch because there's certain stories you hadn't seen yet. No, that's fair. Okay, let's go get rid of these shitheads. One and two. I didn't want to jump on these landmines just in case. So it seems like this is where most of the rough enemies are at this point. It's like over here. Ah, uh, yo, filthy casual. Thank you for the 49 months. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciate that. Thank you, dude. Okay. Bang. Wait, 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 he's alive? Oh. 
It must be some kind of thing where he can like survive a hit or something. Okay, I get you. Yeah, yeah, Death Ward, that was it. Uh, Magrid, thank you for the 45 months. Thank you very much. Thank you, Filter Casual. Thank you, John Control. I've got monsters on my team. Um, is this guy still stunned? If he was stunned, I could have killed him or something. Uh, mind blast. Hmm. Potent concentrated blast. Ooh, this is gonna hit like Gabnon and shit, right? If I do this. Oh, it's only never mind, it's only one enemy. Alright, here, let's do this. There we go. Okay, that guy's dead. And I'm still, I, I'm doing a great job hiding Asterion so he can't be healed. <laughs> I'm doing a really great job of that. Uh, I guess let's try Divine thank you for all the content Wing you Tower. Fair enough. Ah, that Mind Flayer with the stun. That's why I've been going after the Mind Flayers first. Would you dare hurt your gear? Oh man. Okay, go ahead and shoot the winged horror here. Nice. Okay, it looks like I should be able to uh, heal at that point. I, I didn't. I honestly didn't think this mind flare would be like a big deal, but apparently it kind of is. Okay, fly up here. Now uh, get over here. Uh, Vanakin, thank you for the 66 months. Thank you, Vanakin. I appreciate that. Did this guy get, like, stuck on the wall? I think this enemy got stuck on the wall somehow. The Illithid are notorious assholes. Yeah, they're pretty bad, man. Concentrate. Okay, um... Keep trying to fucking heal my guys and I keep moving them away. Uh, okay. We healed a little bit. Uh, Marin V, thank you for 28 months. Thank you very much. Uh, your gear got stuck on his own landmines. You know what? That's my fault. <laughs> I guess that's my fault. This bitch is still alive. Okay, so that, that invisibility did work. I don't think Asterion's gonna be able to do much. Um, we don't have that many enemies left to kill. Let's go uh, smash this guy to pieces here. Okay. Uh, I think this is one of those, like a goblin here, right?
You fucking missed a goblin with a 95% chance to hit. Fuck you. Uh, okay, so the last thing is... Uh... This last wing horror? Must have rolled a one. I turned off karmic dice like a million years ago for the record. Turn that shit off. No, man, I, I hated it. I hated karmic dice. Okay, um... So where is this last, uh, where is he? Uh... Wait, the game is like... The game is like jerking me around. I can't find this guy. Is he like over here somewhere? I don't know where he is. Anybody know where this guy is? I have notoriously bad karma. I question if karma days even work. The first half of the game, only like 75% of my rolls were terrible. Click his port. I know, but the thing is, chat, when I do that, it, oh, it, it like jerks me over. He's there he is. Okay, I see him now. Watching Lazel fly through the sky is pretty fucking funny. There we go. Okay. All group back up. And Jurgen did uh Jurgen your gear didn't die either. Look at that. So we're not allowed to do long rests. No long rests. Okay. Missing a 95 percenter doesn't seem right. I'll, I'll tell you this. When I had the Karmic Dice on, I'm telling you, I played for like how many hours of Karmic Dice on? Maybe like 10 or something. Not one critical hit did I ever land. Not one critical hit. I turned off. I land critical hits all the time now. No problem. I never landed one fucking crit ever. Turn that shit off, man. Embrace the RNG. You'll be fine. Not true. I didn't land a single fucking critical hit. Wick Knight, thank you for the eight months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. When I turn when I turn off the karmic dice, the game got way better in my opinion. Way fucking better. Blow up behind me. Uh, I did not save. Let's go ahead and save. Uh, I don't know what this shit is. Seems bad. So there's the Nautiloid level 16. Uh, okay. Invoker of Ball. Wait, Invoker of Ball? Ball and Bane are still fucking around? Honor mode? Ah, uh, I'm playing tech. This is my first playthrough. I'm playing tactician. Okay, I don't want to stand whatever that shit is. I don't want to stand on it. I got fucked up.
Hmm. The range on those guys? Yeah, yeah. I already keep one time the dice were on, basically starting this game. I mean, I didn't rage quit. I came back and just did it later because I was fighting the ante at like, what was it? The crazy ante lady. I was fighting her at like a really low level. I sure hope it's okay that I'm here. Uh, I think it's time for a uh, black hole. Bye bye. <laughs> Can I do another black hole? Okay. Oh, that's like a fucking airstrike. What the fuck, man? Holy crap. Bombs away. Oh, great. More bullshit's coming. You know what? At, if, I don't know if we're going to get out of this fight or not, but I was like, man, I really need to give Asterion some healing potions or something. Get to the chopper! There should be Peepo artillery. I mean, you give it enough time, there probably will be. Here, I'm going to... Can I throw a potion at Asterion? Hang on. Uh, I have too much shit. I can throw his underwear at him. <laughs> Hang on. God damn it. Uh, throw potions. Don't throw a grenade at him. There you go. Oh, there's a fucking brain thing here. I didn't realize that. Oh, fuck you, bitch. I didn't even know you were there. I didn't see you. <laughs> uh, okay. Charming enemy attacks you, preventing them from attacking you until their next turn. Sure. Charm. Um, so we have to like work our way up here somehow, man. This seems like a whole fucking thing here. Ah, uh, so that, uh, okay, dead. Another mind flare coming in. What's the point of mage hand? Uh, which ability is mage hand? Yeah, I'm still on my first playthrough, man. This is a huge game. I don't know if you were aware of that. This game is tremendous. Black hole on the mind flare. <laughs> oh, he came back. Oh, he came back. Bullshit. Oh, my God. We're being chased by little brain bitches. Yeah, yeah. These are the kind that explode, I think.
I can't tell if this area is under attack or not. The entire place is messed up. Yeah, it is. I, I, I think this is safe here. I think. Okay, we're going to grab you. And uh, choose a target to teleport. Okay, hang on. Can I go to... Let me one second. Can I go to Lazel and turn off her passives? Cannot be moved by against force. Okay. Now we do that. Learned that before. Not enough space. Well, I guess I'm not allowed to go up. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Okay, Mind Flayer's dead. I think we're just out of range here, so we won't get hit. Uh, okay, so these intellect gluttons are going to explode like crazy unless I do something. Uh, I think if I just shoot it one more time, maybe? Now, should I use action resource and try to... I think I'll wait and not do that. Not too much Gabnon can do right now. Uh, let's fly you here. Turn the passive back on now. Shoot them. Yeah, yeah, I'm going for him now. Um, fine, God. Let's see. So we can do a uh, mind blast. Should take care of this. Okay, so now we're not going to get hit. We're not going to get hit by that. I think we all avoided the artillery and everything, so we think we're good to go. Got a long way to... I don't know where we're... I don't even know where we're going here, but... Uh, I turned Orpheus into a Mind Flayer. I thought about turning Gabnon into a Mind Flayer. I decided against it. I thought about it. I want Gabnon to be Gabnon. I am attached to Gabnon. It sure killed a lot of its own brains, didn't it? <laughs> it killed like all of its own guys. Hmm? I didn't think it was possible to turn Orpheus into a mind flare. More mind flares. Yeah, Orpheus, uh, he volunteers. Oh, that seems bad. Oh, this is where we're getting. That's where we're getting. I can't move Asterion <laughs> because uh, he's surrounded by shit. Because Gabnon and, and because they're standing here, I can't move him. Well, I mean, I can't move Shadowheart. He's just stuck.
I could jump. Okay. And now can I move? Ow. Uh, so there's a mind flayer there. Um, let's just go ahead and shoot the intellect devourer and get rid of him. really get right there can i i don't even think da dashing is not going to give me like any room either even if i did that i could dimension door hang on if i guess if i moved gabnon here maybe i could dimension door us over there Ow, fire. Uh, let's... Uh, I think Gadnon actually has a black hole himself. So if I fly here... Uh, where's my black hole at? Repulsor... Overload. Mind Blast. I thought I had... Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, but my black hole is not as strong as his black hole. I see. Uh, let's... No, I'm going to do... I'm going to do Scorching Ray Shot on these guys. Do that. Oh, that one lived. Fuck. Oh no, Lazel's gonna get Lazel's gonna get hit by fucking artillery now. Damn. Uh shove her? Yeah, I theoretically could, right? But like where? Like off the cliff? Like where where am I gonna take her? I don't know. I think she's just I think she just has to eat it, honestly. Tunnel her. I think. I think we. She just has to eat it. She's just got to eat that one. Okay. And. Uh, if I do Mind Blast, it's not going to work. Stage Fright. Uh, psionic Overload. There's probably like, I, there's probably a lot of stuff we can do here. I just don't know how to use this guy. Uh, devour your foe, lowering all their ability scores. And, uh, oh, you, I could Devour him. Okay. So we're like eating this guy. What does that do? All the creatures' abilities reduced by five. Oh, okay, interesting. So we're like eating his brain now. Okay. Ow. All right. Let's hope Lazel doesn't die to this. The toxic Yosh. Did she get hit? I don't even think she got hit. So these reinforcers just going to keep showing up here no matter what. You know what? Let's call Asterion's Vampire Lord. Let's do it. Let's Vampire Buddies. I want to see it. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit I get all this shit man that's badass mm, 
Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, so this is where I guess we're sending Gabnon in. Do I agree that this is game of the year? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, 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 that's it. Oh, we just had to reach this. Oh, okay. I thought, all right, there. <laughs> okay, now what? Are you ready to face the nether brain? Oh, they don't let you like take a rest or anything here either. You can't like do anything. Oh, there's a gilded chest here. You know, actually, I, I have a lot of these potions of angelic slumber. I actually have a lot of those. I think I have like three or four. So who would need them the most? Asterion? Probably, probably Shadowheart should take one for the, for the, hang on. Let's search for angelic. Uh, this one is angelic slumber. We should have that on uh, Shadowheart. Save them for the next play. They might need them later. You have enough for everybody. I mean, I don't think. I, I guess. I guess everybody could use one, huh? How, do, how does this work? Drink Shadow Heart. So wait, is Shadow Heart okay? So Shadow Heart's asleep. Drink Lazel. Okay, these are sick, actually. Okay, drink Asterion. And now drink Gabnon. Alright, let's all <laughs> let's all take a quick nap. Real quick nap before we go in. I did not use this menu enough. Everybody's we're all good. We're all fully rested. Alrighty, we're going into the brain. Let's do it. I thought like this was gonna be it. All right, let's see what you got. If only, dude, I missed Dale. Why Blarg no pick me? You know what's funny is that when Gale died, nobody had anything to say about it. Nobody was like, no, our friend Gale. Like nobody said anything. It was just like, ah. Oh. So I wonder, is the Emperor going to be here too, trying to kill us? It's always a big giant brain. Lollipop Kraken, thank you for the 58 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. I guess we're going to find out. Oh 
shit. Uh, so the crown, we have to cast the spell on it. Are we, wait, do we also have a fucking dominated red dragon also on us? Oh shit, man. So if we got rid of the crown, then perhaps, uh, the dragon would not be on their side. All right, let's go ahead and save. Yeah. So we need to get rid of it. The Emperor Renegade Illithid. Volatile Shield. Every hit points by an Illithid, these are removed. The shield bursts, stunning nearby foes. Dream Guardian. Man. This seems rough, actually. Oh, yeah. Call forth allies. Retinue of the Vampire Lord. <laughs> yeah, let's bring in the vampire lord. Are they gonna like all get fucking... <laughs> uh, hang on one second. Hang on, one second. <laughs> All right, let's call in the, the vampire lord. Why don't we go do it here? There we go. That's better. So while you're here, these like tentacle things are just all doing this, huh? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I could actually do this Scarlet Feast, I guess. Hmm. Summon some weak allies. I, you know, let me call forth more allies here, right? Your gear. The watch. Summon the watch. Why not? Summon them all. So the one that had to cast the spell is uh, Orpheus, right? We need to get Orpheus there. Hell Rider Platoon. All right, I'll summon you guys there. I need to see what the enemy is going to do before I make decisions. <laughs> Avengers assemble. Did you really cast fire on the dragon, you idiot? <laughs> Is that really what you did? Why would you do that? drink this potion with him so now should i okay here's what i want to do i kind of want to mind blast everybody here okay we stunned the dragon that's nice 
Um. Black hole. I'm not sure how that would help right now, but maybe. Where's the concentrated mind blast? Mind blast. Potent might. There we go. On the dream guardian. Okay. This is all Asterian's garbage, all of his monsters that come on his side. His allies are not very good, are they? <laughs> his guys are not very good, are they? both do it okay that killed him that one was good yeah that one's good we have more allies we can summon oof man magic missile is rough magic missile is rough isn't it that's got to be one of the strongest spells in the game The fact that it like never misses and shit, right? Witness perfection and yield to it. Hey, you know what? Uh, Sterion's monster buddies were, uh, at least they were good targets, right? Oh shit, there's a timer. I didn't I did not realize that. <laughs> I did not actually. So I have to get the hell over there as fast as I can. I honestly don't know what Asterion can even really do here. Uh, I feel like shooting the dragon is kind of pointless. I don't really feel like Asterion can actually do much here. I'll go send him to go attack the tentacles, I guess. Yeah, let's go take you out. Uh, Slacknator, thank you for the raid, Slacknator. Appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. Hope the stream was good. Dude, he keeps attract he keeps attacking the dragon. <laughs> keeps doing it. Uh thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Oh hey, I got a heal? Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, thank you very much. If you're joining us, we are uh, kind of at the end of Baldur's Gate 2 or Baldur's Gate 3, excuse me. And uh, game's been a fucking ton of fun. Uh, highly recommend if you haven't played through it. I know it's not for everybody, but it's just been uh, an awesome, awesome time. Let's go do a big heal on everybody. That's also going to bless literally everybody. And, um... We got to start making our way this way. I think we're going to try to send the, the uh... Did I try to... Uh, you know what? Let's try to get Lazel over there. Let's do the Gith Yankee thing. And I think we're going to jump right next to this guy. 
start trying to get these guys. Let's go do action surge. And I'm going to wail on this guy. Critical miss. Good. I maybe should have tried a tripping strike or something. Hmm. I was wondering if dash would get me there faster. Let's just fly. Uh, should I try another mind blast? Looking good. I really kind of want to kill the emperor too. I'm not going to lie. Sure, hit him. Sir, I protest. I am not a merry man. Uh, Roman Chowie, thank you for the two months. Thank you very much. Thank you, X uh, Equine Ducklings for the tier two. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to hit... Now we're gonna do not react. You can just negate your bullshit. I think I could call in your gear too. That hurt. I was wondering if you like defeat everything here, uh, if you can talk to the emperor afterwards. <laughs> so we have uh, two wheel. We don't have many turns left. Get to get over there and use the spell. I think either the crown or the emperor are, yeah. Uh, to Sarah, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate that. Uh... If you got a gift sub, hey, welcome. Thank you so much to Sarah. Really appreciate that. Thank you. So the Watchmen are now attacking each other. <laughs> All right, not dominated anymore. Okay, great job, guys. Well done. You fucked up, Shadowheart. You fucked up. Uh, yes, yes. The winner of Marbles chose Oxygen Not Included, which I have never played. Over one year. Thanks for the content during the long injury. This fight is so cool, too. Uh, yo, Romp Romp, thank you so much for the 13 months. Thank you again uh, to Sarah. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's really cool being able to call in your allies and shit. That's very cool. Okay, let's do trip attack. And I think we can finish him off. can't really attack the brain, so to speak. Um, you know, I didn't even check to see, like, so this is the spell. Where, where's the spell at? Uh, this is it. I didn't even see you, how close I had to get to this thing to do it. Uh, let's go fly here. And crown of Karsus. Karsus. 
So it seems like it's working kind of okay. It's a good thing we have Asterion zombies here. They're really helping out. Hey, you know what? Actually, it's kind of useful how they're drawing they're drawing all those attacks off, actually. It's actually kind of nice. <laughs> So I've been in early access for the Tomb Raider remakes. I've never played any Tomb Raider games. How many of us just got stunned? Uh, I think it was just that. But the Emperor is healing himself like crazy. Shadowheart's HP is going down bad. And Shadowheart just went down, <laughs> but she revived. Okay, we're gonna backstab this arc, this Illithid right here. Dude, I love Asterion so much, dude. <laughs> that was a lot of fucking damage, dude. Holy crap. And, you know, I was thinking about eating him. Yeah, go ahead. Eat him. Who eats the Mind Flayer? I love Asterion so much. Now, I don't know if Asterion quite reaches the level of HK47 for me in terms of like awesome characters, but he is pretty awesome. Not quite that level. <gasps> you fucking blocked my heal, you son of a bitch. Okay, we're gonna smack. You know what? All these mind flayers look alike. <laughs> all the mind flayers look alike. I'm sorry. They all look alike. They literally all look alike. Listen, man. Uh, physicist, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. One year, smiley face. Hey, we knocked out the emperor. Does that mean we can, like, fucking drag his ass back? Cause I want some fucking answers, dude. Uh, I could do that. I could also just eat his brain, actually. That would actually give us all the answers, right? Okay, so now we're under attack from artillery.
Yeah, make sure you go run into the artillery. Way to go. It would not be a fight without a shadow heart miss, would it? Take two, two. Now, should I just like kill the emperor while he's down? Everybody's dead with the exception of the dragon and the nautiloid and stuff. Like, just about everything is dead, right? So, we just have to actually not get interrupted here, right? Um. Okay. And these guys are probably going to be distracting the dragon for a while. Oh, there's also the uh, Dream Guardian here, but uh, I'm not too scared of the Dream Guardian. Why is Orpheus so hurt? Uh, no reason. how long it takes to get this is there a way to break cyclically dominated the deep twisting grass and other brains i there, there might be like a way to do that i don't know um let's call in uh what do we got sword of the silver light there you go Dame Aelin. Yeah, come on and help us. Oh, that killed the Dream Guardian there. Good job. What fucking spell was that, huh? Okay, I think we're just going to keep Shadowheart here and uh, we can go heal everybody that's here too. I guess I could go attack this dragon. I mean, I don't think we're going to be able to stop the dragon, right? Or at least stop the dragon from being, uh, you know what I mean. Uh, okay. Do you ever call the trolls? Did I ever call the trolls? What are you talking about? Oh, the trolls from the beginning of the game? No, I never did. I should have. So I guess let's just all beat the dragon's ass. Oh, is there actually a, uh, is there a thing here? There's another, there's a new Mind Flayer there. Oh, uh, can I Misty Step next to him? I'm sure to kill this Mind Flayer. That was not the Mind Flayer. God fucking damn it, dude. Ugh. It's 
son of a bitch, man. Whatever. I saw this person. I thought that was it. I fucked up. I mean, you know what? It's not the first time and it ain't the last time I fucked up in this game. Oh, is that it? The brain is weakened. This is our chance. What? The brain is almost defeated. Uh. Wait, where is everybody? Oh, everybody else has to like use the portal here. Is that it? Um. Chains of Karsis against all odds. The unlikely action of the party were a surprise to the other brain. The successful roll has left in. Oh, so that successful roll we got wounded it a little bit. Ah, cool. That's interesting. Potent concentrated blast. So like if you had succeeded everything, the brain would be really weak here, right? Okay. So everybody else has to get oh the dragons oh no, the dragon's still alive. So everybody else has to like get through that portal, huh? Okay, the constant flashing back and forward. Uh, hello? <laughs> yes? Okay. Okay, well, something, I don't know what was going on in there, but something happened in there. When's the last time I saved? Oh, more uh, Nautiloid artillery. Oh, so we have to defeat it. We have five turns to defeat it before it breaks free, apparently. Yeah, I see. I see we have four turns. I see it. Thank you. I'm, I'm going over there as fast as I can. All right, we need we need a, we need a reminder of shut the fuck up chat. We need a reminder here. Quick, a quick reminder of shut the fuck up. Uh have to keep going. Bro, really? How do I go from here? No, stay focused. What we go for? comes easy these days. Okay, enter the brain. Its will is weakening. So I can't quite reach it. can't reach it. If I cast darkness on it, would that blind it? I'm kind of curious. Can you not blind the brain? <laughs> maybe, 
Maybe you can't blind a brain. I do have scrolls of like disintegration and stuff. Okay, get in there, Lazel. You know, go ahead and do Rays of Fire. So when you get mind broken, you're slowed by the affected entity. So I guess that happens every time you attack it or something. Um, so wait, so we, uh, defeat it. So we just have to defeat the brain. We don't have to like dominate it anymore or anything, right? So the concentrated blast is strong. Um, we'll do another mind blast on it. Did I? I don't even think I hit it. Pretty sure I didn't hit it right there. Okay. Pro tip: slash the brain until it's dead. The switching back and forward is frustrating here. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I understand that's the way it is. I get it, but like, oof, man. It's a glitch. Um. The hell just happened? Did Orpheus just go down? What the fuck? Oh, is this thing like, wait, is this thing like warning you which platforms are gonna do it? But like, what does that, oh man. What does that mean though? I don't know which, which platforms are gonna go. Is it the ones that are glowing? Is that it? Oh man. Well, that would have been nice to know. <laughs> So Okay, surely I've got like a really good arrow here. Monstrosity slaying. What is this thing? An aberration, not a monstrosity. I wonder which one of my arrows would be best here. Does a lot of damage. Many targets, uh, three other targets in range. Arrow of darkness, arrow of lightning. Let's do the arrow of monstrosity slaying. I gave him all my arrows. I'll do this one. Really can't reach? doesn't work oh it's called oh, that's construct oh it it literally it has to be that oh i did not realize pardon me all right we'll take a fucking smoke powder arrow i guess Okay, um, sure. The arrow of transportation seems best. So I guess when that brain goes, these platforms are gonna give out. So I gotta watch, I know, I know, I gotta watch out. 
No, I know the platforms are gonna move. I I need I I I get I know understand Gadnon's in it. I understand. Can I summon a dude here now inside this? Actually, can you summon a dude here? But at least I got fucked up. We have the upper hand. Time to end this. Okay, um. Okay, so let's see. I think I can stand here. I think. It looks like I can stand here. Yeah, different pieces are gonna fall. Okay, I think I can stand here. Oh, marked for negation, huh? All right, can we hit the brain? Good damage. You know what? Shove the brain. No, you can't. I was going to shove it. <laughs> Not allowed to shove the brain, eh? game that's immune to poison okay I don't think we're gonna die I should look at my scrolls with Gabnon too Jeez, man. So wait, is this? But man, it's like Gadnon's like completely on his own. Uh, unless I like dimension door over there or something, huh? Am I also marked for negation? I am marked for negation. Jeez, man. Fuck you. No longer marked for negation. Uh, all right. Let's keep swinging at it. Mind broken. All right. That's the only attack I'm getting. Still can't move Lazel. Um, let's see what I can shoot another arrow at you, right? Maybe another smoke powder arrow. Arrow of fire. All right, let's shoot another smoke powder arrow at him. Kind of feel like my regular shots might be doing more damage, actually. <laughs> no, you can't sneak Use attack. Luminaire. Doesn't work. Almost there. Critical hit from Shadowheart. Wow. In what fucking universe does Shadowheart do that? It needs to hit 72%. It's got one HP. <laughs> 
It has one HP. Uh-oh. Bro, what happens? The fuck happens when you, if you just lose all your platforms, what the fuck happens, dude? <laughs> I guess, I guess, is that the timer? All right, Gabnon, bring us home. The last hit. You've got a 99% chance of hitting. Divine smite it. Surrender this. The big brave and winning again. I am the greedest. Now I am leaving Baldur's Gate for no reason. Aren't you dead? <laughs> I thought you were dead. Uh, Sailfin, thank you for 40 months. Gigantor, thanks to the sub. Appreciate that. Betray Orpheus, dominate the brain, become the absolute. Go ahead, command the brain to destroy all the tablets. No, Gabnon is a good guy. He's a good guy. I must. I must obey. I must. Gabnon is good. For Dale! So wait, I didn't kill the emperor. I just knocked him out. The pain warps through you, obliterating all your feelings. Gavnon 2024. Your tadpole burns in your brain. I wonder what would happen if I hadn't betrayed uh, uh, Satan. I wonder. Simon. For the first time in a long time, your thoughts are entirely your own. Oh, I, I killed him. Satan's dead. Gravity. Yeah, Raphael. So we, I went to the House of Hope, mostly because I just want. I was just curious. I wanted to see it, and uh, Raphael didn't like that, so we ended up having to kill him too. Yeah, that was a cool fight. It was tough. I think the dragon was the hardest fight in the game, though. The dragon just murders you in, like, two turns. Ridiculous. There goes the big brain. Oi! Fuck that boat in particular. <laughs> now I will leave the gate for no reason. Oh, is he gonna turn back into a human or is he just gonna die? Big brain dober.
So the mind flayers die, or I guess I, I guess once you become a mind flayer, there's no going back. I see. <laughs> uh, Metaxalus, thank you for 27 months. Uh, Rag Ragong, thanks for the sub. Appreciate that. saved Baldur's Gate. Everything you sacrificed. It was worth it. For this. I want them to cut to, to Gale's dead body <laughs> in the pit somewhere. <laughs> I didn't kill the founder of Baldur's Gate. I knocked him out. Yeah, Dale died. It's done. The Netherbrain is defeated, along with the grand design. Praise Mother Gith. My powers, they're draining. Just like Mazora said they would. Who are you? A oh, right. Price to pay in the that character we never used. Things. We did it. The nether brain is dead. The parasite. It's with it. Dead along with the nether brain. I am cleansed. I will never be a filthy geich. Only mild offense intended, of course. You did the unthinkable. And I'm grateful for it. Even when my time in the prison stretched out like eternity, when escape seemed impossible, I never lost hope. He wanted us to kill him. My destiny was to liberate my people. Is he going to ask us to kill to him again? Return to them triumphant. I was wrong. Genuinely bummed this playthrough is over. One part GG. Of my, destiny. my people will be liberated. But I cannot return to them. Not like this. You helped me destroy that abomination. Now help me destroy myself. You must kill me. I mean, that's what he wants, right? Uh, Chef Ava, thank you for the 19 months. Thank but you very first, much. Lazel, I need your promise. Carry my hope. Carry my burden. Call my dragons, Kulos and Kuthos, and ride to the Astral Sea. Destroy Vlakith. Release our people. Be our future. And you our made him legacy. turn. Uh, you should do this, Lazel. Your people need you. I mean, I, I feel like that would be very fulfilling for Lazel. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Duty. All my life, I've traveled in its slipstream, not once questioning its path. In its service, I came here. And now, in its service, I leave. I will carry your hope, Prince Orpheus. And I will carry your burden. But to that burden, I must add my own. Hey, Gabnon doesn't look like a freak anymore. Of those I leave He's all normal out. again. I see Gabnon normal again. So be it. Now, give me my freedom from this form. Hey! You're a mind fairy, but you're still you, aren't you? Yes. But for how long? My mind screams. It will never stop until it has slipped away from me entirely. I will not be Gake. I did what I did to save my people. The rest is up to them. Someone else must rise within the ranks to lead the revolution against Vlakith. Well. 
Give me my freedom from this form. Orpheus turned out to be kind Release of a bro, my right? Soul to the astral seas, while I still have one to call my own. Give him the death he craves. Yep. That's what he wants. I'll go. I'll do it. I mean, really, when look, look at when push came to shove. When push came to shove and shit got real. Orpheus was like, you're a mind flare, but whatever. We have to work together and I'll fucking, I'll even become a mind flare. I'll do everything to stop this from happening. When push came to shove for the emperor, he's like, well, fuck you. I guess I'm going to side with the brain then. That's fucked up. When, when things came down to it, when it came down to the moment, that was fucked up, right? Without you, I wouldn't have known warmth. Only ice and fire. I can never forget you. Your name will be etched in our slates. You will be called Mlagir. Liberator. Yeah, not Mlagir. I think Lazel might be stinky because I put the poison on her crossbow. That's why she's stinky. <laughs> to the skies. It's kind of sad we don't have like a farewell considering we were like lovers or whatever, right? To me, I was just kind of surprised. Like, man, the Emperor is just like, well, fuck you. I guess I'm siding with the bad guy. All because I wanted to free Orpheus? Why? I don't understand. Well, and he was wrong. He was also wrong about Orpheus, too. In their own plane. With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city. Smoldering. Waiting to be rebuilt. He was also wrong about... So, what's his name? What now? Orpheus. I don't know about you, but I could use a flagon or three of ale. <laughs> you didn't do anything. <laughs> you were in the camp the whole time. Uh, I think a celebration is in order. Celebration, yes. And perhaps. Where is Carlac, actually? A lot of people died so we could get to this moment. Let's go find somewhere to offer them a toast. Where is Carlac? We did it, Sanger. Oh, there's Carlac. The city's going to be all right. And so are you. Uh, engine's finally cooked. Held on just long enough. Doesn't matter, it's over now. You were spectacular in every way. So are you, my friend, my companion. I sweat like Usher out here. Shut the fuck up. <laughs>
let's see. Go, Karlak. Will will be with you. You won't be alone anymore. It's your decision, Karlak. You have to choose. Will will go with you. Zarya won't be able to touch you. The three of us can make a new life in Avernus together. So, like, what is this option? Just going to hell? Like, just go to hell? Oh, there's more. <laughs> there's more. I didn't know there was another option. Will never did anything. Yeah, it's your decision, Carl. Like you choose. Well, you know what? Will never literally never did anything. So, what do you say? Die here now, or live on with the blade of Avernus at your side. Zariel won't touch you. I swear it, Carlac. Fine. I'll go. Well, with you. But we have to go now. I can't hang on much longer. I thought you're dying. <laughs> okay, not dead. It's over. And it's all because of you. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no end. I'm mad that I couldn't talk to the Emperor. Death God's tyranny. amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. You are the saviors of Baldur's Gate. Well, soldier. Here we are. It worked. My engines calmed down. What are birds? Thank you for five yes. gift subs. Thank you, what are birds? <laughs> I shouldn't have let you come here. This isn't going to be easy, you know. Zara's going to come at us with everything she's got. Wiener music. Thank you for the nine gift subs. Thank you very much. Thank you, Floppy Wiener. What the fuck? But then, there was you. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Hang on one sec. Wait. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> Imps are fast but careless. 
Don't let them tire you out. Just get rid of them. And don't forget. You asked for this. Better let these fuckers know I'm back. And this time, I'm not alone. I feel like this is kind of a weird happy ending, you know? It was like a weird happy ending. Um. since you defeated the netherbrain and since then you have seen more of life than you ever thought possible. it was that after fans were upset there was no way to save her a, savior, a champion a hero but sometimes you feel like something else entirely an adventurer a traveler a survivor you faced down the gods you thwarted the grand design anything seems possible but before you can write the next chapter of your story you must end this one that's why you're going back to where all of this began answering an invitation to gather with your allies and friends oh all the everybody's here oh what's up everybody epilogue um Thou wert called here, some from above, some below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel of fate yeah. when it threatened to halt. Though thou wert drawn far apart in the months after the collapse. Oh, look, all three of your friends who didn't get killed. Tonight, Only one person died. Thy bond once more. Thou shouldst take care to preserve it. It is a great weapon wielded in the hand of good. Go. Jahara never was in no my party ever. Isabel, who? De Gale, dead. So what? Not my fault. <laughs> oh, shit. Check it out. It's our owlbear. Pet him. Oh. Nice owl bear. Good to see you. Ah! At the ground, suddenly shy. Uh, hang on. Where's, uh, speak with animals? Did I lose speak with animals? Oh, I can't talk to it. I lost... I think my oath, I can't speak with animals anymore. Can't do it. I also can't open up my inventory. Oh, no, no I can. Oh, I still... Hang on. Why am I wearing this fucking clothing? Hang on. The fuck is this shit? There... There we go. Now... Now I'm back home, baby. Now we're back. Dear friend, it's been an age, has it not? You're looking very well indeed. My <laughs> skeletal friend will be very pleased to see I found my way here, despite my invitation getting lost in the post. Oh, uh, have you become seeking a statement for your next tell all? Oh, I wouldn't bother you with such things during a party. And anyway, I've gotten quite good at replicating your signature, so you needn't even bother with the release form. You might help me with the title, though. I'm considering... Parcasa, thank you for the 26 months. Thanks for 26 months. Thanks for the sub. Appreciate what that. Think? Mm, you can do better. Oh, terribly sorry, but you mistake me, my friend. 
I'm only accepting complimentary feedback at this time. Perhaps, once the manuscript is finished, you'd even be willing to write a foreword? Or better yet, I'd write a draft and you could just sign your name. Better still, I'll sign it for you. Mm -hmm. Ah, your success really has been wonderful for my reputation. But you mustn't let me hog your attention all night, my friend. You've many friends to chat to, and I'd love to listen in. Okay. Keeping us all on tenterhook so you could make... Uh. Starting to wonder if you'd show up. <laughs> um, Shadowheart, isn't it? <laughs> uh... I had reservations, actually. I thought it might be too bittersweet. Uh, are you joking? I've been counting on the days. Of course I did. This you lot could man couldn't manage without me. You can say that with a straight face. After all the times I had to come to your aid. Well, come here, will you? It's been forever. Aww. Feel a little more substantial than before. Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. Fuck you, bitch. I'll tell you this compliment, you look good too. I suppose I do, don't I? I'm glad you seem well. Trudy. What have you been up to? Wandering, mostly. Uh, Gruntiatus, thank you for the 25 months. Thank you very much. By brain monsters and cultists. I can finally see the world beyond the cloister. Hmm. I don't think you're doing right by yourself. Choosing my own path is still something of a novelty. Uh, Naked Mancer, thank you for eight months. At least I'm free to make my own. Barn Toad. One of my first stops was the House of the Moon in Waterdeep. It's the largest temple of Saluna in existence. It seemed like the perfect spot to reflect on my parents, on where they came from. And where I came from too, I suppose. Hard to imagine, isn't it? Me, of all people, in the lair of the Moon Witch herself. God, you're truest act of heroism was putting up with all that char and drivel I was spouting for so long. You're right, I was truly heroic. And oh so modest. <laughs> you must be wondering what I've been doing. Must I? You presume a great deal. I'm joking. Of course I want to know. Tell me all. <laughs> uh, boast of adventures. Uh, you've embarked on since you passed a- Oh, you know, this and that. Playing it coy, are we? Sounds like a girl I used to know. But you're entitled to your secrets. At least until the festivities loosen your tongue a bit. Hopefully, these meetups will become a regular occurrence. It's not that I miss the tadpoles, but... At least it brought us together. Now we've got to make the extra effort ourselves. Don't worry, we'll keep in touch. Yeah, that's a lie. <laughs> I'm sure we will, but let's be proactive about it all the same. We're more than capable. After all, we've faced down bigger threats than wrangling together a few social calendars. Leave. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> you guys miss Bale? I was hoping you'd oh, I want to talk to Asterion. He's like the mega vampire lord. Who the fuck is Millil? Who the hell is that? I speak up. Do my up well. Look who it is. Look at his fucking super my evil first outfit. <laughs> and oldest friend. The last six months have been kind to you. You can thank my other half for that being that was a blessing. Tried to live a good life. Uh they have. I've indulged every vice I've had and some new ones. A soul after my own heart. Oh, assuming you have any soul left, of course. But I am glad to see your living life to the fullest. We deserve nothing less, you and I. 
What have you been doing? The Casador's mansion has become my palace and played host to every kind of banquet and soiree and masquerade imaginable. And of course, ah! for its fair share of hedonism, clandestine deals and the occasional disappearance. Whatever it takes to build up my influence over those who matter. Cool fetish gear, Barb Gabnon. Power grows slowly, but I have nothing but time now. What's your end game, ruler of Baldur's Gate? Oh, I wouldn't say ruler. Any old fool can sit on the throne. Play with matches take for 25 months. Puppet master. For all my freedom to walk in the sun, it's still much more fun to pull the strings of power from the shadows. <laughs> but the important thing is I am doing wonderfully. Finally having a life that's worth living. And who knows what's next? There's an entire world out there, ready for the taking. They added all this. This was uh, deleted. Uh, I drink to that. Evil never lasts. Someone will stop you. <laughs> they are welcome to try. I could use a new trophy of my wall. I did miss you, you know. You always had such unique ideas about the world. We did share a wonderful adventure, you and I. A pity to see it end in some ways. But we have great new lives stretching out before us. And great new adventures to go on. I will never forget the time we spent together, though. And I know you'll never forget me. Until next time. Darling. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Who else did I talk to? Oh, yeah, we can talk to Carlac again. Uh, play with matches take oh, 25 shit. months. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. He wasn't kidding. With us, you mad bastard. You brought me back. Soldier. It's really you. I've missed you, man. Like, I've really missed you. Aw. you so clean. <laughs> I'm not that clean. I missed you too. How have things been in Avernus? <sighs> Was a dirty business, soldier. It's been uh, exactly how you'd think. But having Will around has been incredible. Fuck is even better at killing devils than yours truly. We don't have much time to chat, but just knowing he's there makes all the difference. Oh, but hey, guess what we found? Cambion dropped a map with directions and blueprints for Zariel's own private forge. A fucking forge! Our current plan is to get in, grab a smith, and force him to fix old Rusty. Or maybe give me a brand new model that can live outside of Ernest. Okay. You haven't seen the last of old Karlak yet, soldier. Aww. Uh... Can I have a hug? You don't need to ask, soldier. Ah, how cute. The weird hug. What are you doing? I won't be in Avernus forever, you know. Can I look you up when I'm out? You'd better I'll hunt you down myself. Hey, that would be kind of fun, though. High stakes hide and seek. <laughs> Honestly, I'd be curious to see if you could land a blow or two. Gods, is it good to see you again. To be here together. Hard not to get used to it all over again. This won't be the last time. I promise. Aww. Okay. Very sweet. Uh, Will? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to Will. <laughs> there you are, my friend. Breathe deep. Can you smell it? Nature. Roll for nature. Minus one. <laughs> a minus one on nature. Still a minus one intelligence. You take in every scent the night breeze carries. Sweet honeysuckle, 
tender violets and an earthy fragrance. I guess it's uh, didn't it. didn't Mizora say that there was no way uh, to remove the demon curse that she put on them? Like she even she can't do it. Forest trees draped in moss, bittersweet, smoky, and that faintest hint of vanilla. What happened to Gale in this playthrough? Uh, he left. A far cry from the rancid Avernus heat that's been clogging my lungs. I swear, Karlak and I have felled enough Cambians to build a fortress with their horns. Who would have thought that just one of those He went off to a farm. He's happier to now. Avernus for good. One of them sported a map and some I didn't prints. kill him! If you want all the gory details, Karlak can fill you in. But get this. If those blueprints work, I could reverse engineer my stone eye. Instead of Mazora tracking me, I could track her. It's past time for her old pet to sink in his fangs. I mean, fairing without your warlock powers. I think the splinters I made out of the last bone devil I saw speak for themselves. Not to pat myself too hard on the back, but I'm not such a bad ranger if I do say so myself. I've missed traveling with you. You were a pleasure to be around. I've missed you too. The rush of battles we fought, the heart to hearts, the nights around the fire, the comfort of knowing I didn't face the unknown alone. If I had to do it all over again, and I'd rather not, to be clear, I can't imagine not having you at my side. Aww. Will is a good deal. Well, that's enough hell talk for the moment. The night's young. You shouldn't go wasting it. Will's a good dude. I like Will. Or wasting any of the wine for that matter. I plan on downing half a bottle myself. Oh, did I say half a bottle? I meant half a dozen. He's the Boy Scout. Okay, so we still haven't talked to Lazel. Uh, where Lazel? Oh, hang on. It, like, kind of tells you, right? Where the hell is Lazel at? Hmm. She by the fire. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to find her. Oh, is that? Oh, there we go. Just the same old chatter. Does no one here get drunk and spill secrets? Zach Van Findu. Oh, is she like teleported here? For two months I trained the Knights of the Comet. For two more I skewered Kithraki bellies. And for two more yet, I traveled through limbo. But nothing has made me quiver more than seeing your face here today. Save failed Arcana. Reach out to embrace her. I'm for more awkward hugs with Gab Don. <laughs> and his fetish gear. I'm really glad they let me keep my underwear. Gish's talents, a few stolen psi crystals, and two ten days of effort to conjure my projection. Worth every one of those days and every drop of their sweat, I promise you. Aww. But soon, soon I'll find some way to see you in flesh, to touch you as you were meant to be touched. Starman, thank you for the bits. Uh, well, your efforts to topple Vlacketh are well underway then. We've spilled blood, gained a foothold in the astral, but still we need allies. And one beyond reckoning has made itself known. Zerith Minyarin. I like that the story seems like it doesn't end. Like there's all these like Karlak is out there doing her stuff. Uh, Lazel is still doing her stuff. Like the story, it's nice that the story feels like it continues. It feels more like a world that exists. 
rather than just like, well, it's over the end, GG credits. You know, I, I like that, which apparently that's the way it was originally. So I really like that they included more of this. Well, I think that they've actually said like no DLC. Haven't they gone out of their way to say that? What's that? Not a what, but a who. The immortal god king of the Githzerai. Yeah, the yeah. People. Once king with mine. Until the madness oh, they say DLC. War, I thought they said that there would be no DLC or anything else. Our Gish sent word of the rebellion to Minyara Gith through the cosmos. He's agreed to parlay. It's fallen to me to secure an alliance. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, as they say. Sometimes. But I don't need the Giths to right to fight for us. Just with us. Love. Love. The word hangs in the hmm. air for a moment before Lazel continues, unfazed. Minyara Gith is an ascetic. He reached out in good faith. This is his way. It is in this spirit that I must meet him. That's what he said about Elden Ring DLC, Demiser. <laughs> Should the gifts or I join us, we could topple the city of death in a red dragon's blink. Should they refuse, I carry on. Gravity pulls me in, but one I still remember direction. when we met Blacketh and I chose the I wave option. Comet. I will not rest until I burn Blacketh's bones to ash and smash her phylactery to pieces. My people will be free. Lazel's face during that was fucking she priceless. Heard that refrain before. Zealous, bossy, insistent. All part and parcel of my undeniable charm. When will I see you again? Soon. When the comet has risen. When the Lich Queen has crumbled to dust. I miss this place. More to the point, I missed you. I'll be back one day. The Overgod himself couldn't keep me away. Okay. Uh, is that everybody? Is there anybody left to talk to? I think that might be it. I don't know who the fuck this musician bitch is. Mil Milo? All right, I guess that's it. Talk to Will. Uh, are we forgetting somebody? Is somebody else? Like, oh, there's wait, there's letters in the chest. Oh. Like Cast talk to dead and talk to Dale. I don't know where Dale is. Wait, is that uh, is that where Dale's stuff used to be? Oh, you can like change everybody's underwear here, huh? Wow, there's a lot of there's a lot of kinky underwear in there. Time for the orgy. Uh, who? I don't remember. Was somebody used to be here? That's where Gale would be. <laughs> this is not my fault. Uh, you said that there's letters, chat? Dagger plus one. And drum. Month gazette. Uh, gazette here. Steal his rug. There's a chest by the bulletin board behind. Well, oh, wait. Oh, here we go. A chest of grateful words. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, this will go to YouTube. Official guild letter. Hold your adventure closely from the day you fell. We are but a humble guild of practice of telling stories. Greeting, blah, blah, blah. Letter from Halzen. Truly heartened to learn of your success in the fight against the absolute. The whole of the Sword Coast owes you a debt that can never be repaid. Uh, I dearly wish I could have joined in your moment of celebration with the Shadow Curse remains. Perhaps I shall yet discover a way to restore light to this place. Until then, uh, yours until the end, Halzen. I think there actually was a way to get rid of the dark curse, and uh, I didn't do that. Hope that you are, uh, dear Shadowheart. Hope that you are well. Oh, this is Shadow. This is Shadowheart's friend. It's run by uh, Shar's followers. Uh, it's almost every waking moment of my new enclave. I dearly wish you to join and your night and spend with friends. I hope that you share such a reunion. I know it must seem strange for me to dwell on such heretical thoughts, and I can't help myself. Perhaps one day I shall find some measure of the bravery and walk away from this life. Until then, I should keep safe and hold members of you as my one ember of light amidst an ocean of darkness. Aww. Valeria. Who is Valeria? Oh, Valeria is the stupid elephant bitch. Friend, I request your help in a mysterious case. There was a little ballish bash a half year ago. Incredibly, I've had to take the credit for the dispelling the ball cult. <laughs> what a fuck. What an asshole. What an asshole. 
Working on routing the remaining ballas from our fair city. This has made me a target. A false document bringing my name to ill repute is made public. Allege unpaid bar tab at Elf Song. If you have any pass through, you are persuaded to my obvious innocence. Much obliged. Fuck you. Any advice on getting ballas blood out of cloth? My hat's not been the same since the murder tribunal. Uh, ooh, Voss is the one guy. That's I know I know Voss, right? Orphans may not be with us, but the comet shines ever bright. Breath by breath, battle by battle, blackest death draws nearer. I have taken to the astral plane, slaughter all who must be slaughtered, and spread the air's truth to every possible ear, willing and unwilling. Many Gathianki have taken up arms as warriors of the comet. Others have remained in their enclaves or traveled to Kreesh, uh, dedicating themselves to our cause as scribes, spies, and slate scholars. Uh, but our allies do not call the children of Gith. Zareth Menyar Ag Gith, the, the Gith Zeri's god king, is rested in an audience. There was a time where I could have thought such coalition unspeakable. Both the Gith Zerai at our side. Not even the full force of the Kathraki could... I, I, I hate this language. If lack of the default, perhaps the two skies must be again made one. Okay. Letter from Hope. Oh, hey, Hope is there. I had a dream last night. Not that there are any nights here or any days. It was a dream about you, all of you. And you were here with me and I had severed bread and jam and oat crackers and cheeses. Uh, you nibbled and sipped and smiled and laughed and you, and you asked if I was happy. Nobody has asked me that for so long. I don't know if anyone's ever asked at all. I know. Where's your gear? Your gear was a bro, dude. I didn't have the words to answer. So instead I led you through my house and showed you all the souls that are here with me. They were Raphael's ones. Now they only belong to themselves. The archive is an art gallery, the boudoir, a grand kitchen. The dungeon is a refuge for any wounded solar creature that finds its way to us. Am I happy? I don't know, but I am hope and I persist because of you. Aww. All right. Let's see. Pick that up. Okay. So my inventory here. And uh, <laughs> I can't off. Oh, not. Let's just throw it in the water. <laughs> Doesn't let you do it? Why is the path interrupted? Throw it! Yeah. Whatever. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, oh, hey. What's up, Withers? This one night is like any other, and yet different. Thou art the savior of Boulder's Gate. Until such time it requires saving again. How dost thou feel? I feel satisfied. I accomplished. I can't help but feel like some things are left undone. I accomplished everything I wanted to do. I am pleased to hear it. The satisfaction of one's intention is, to my surprise, a rare accomplishment. Be honest. Enjoy the revelry of the day. Thou deservest at least that much. I think I've caught up with everyone. What comes next? Not indeed. Prick up thy ears and listen. The balance of the world restored. The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. <laughs> Hear me. Thou heroes, wastrels, friends, I have waited long to tell you these words. It is over. For now. Thou played thy part in weaving the fabric of fate itself, but for every thread you sewed, so did the gods unravel another. Sleep, rest, Revel, but be ready, for thou mayst yet be needed. Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, love, and above all, problems worth solving. To the greatest friends I could dream of. Aww. I'm very happy you played this despite being uh, long and only getting you 3,000 viewers. <laughs> Aww. And to Will, 
And that other guy who died, I forgot his name. Ah, GG. Complete the game in tactician mode. We did it! We beat the game! Oh, man. Uh, is Asterion worthless, bro? Asterion's fucking amazing. He's a great character. Holy crap. Oh, man. GG. Uh, what a game. Uh, really, really, like, you know, yeah. I, I maybe have... I, I initially wasn't interested in it, and uh, I kind of, as I played it, I kind of had things about it. I wasn't sure. Like, it, it takes a while to kind of really get it. That was a great it. playthrough. Uh, but wow, just a fantastic game. Really, really fantastic game. I loved it. I loved the game. There's an after credit scene. Just absolutely incredible game. Well, we'll stick around. We'll stick around for it. The learning curve is steep. Um, I still, I still maintain right now. I still will tell you right now after beating the game on tactician that the game's difficulty is fucking weird. Um, it begins really fucking hard and gradually gets easier with a couple bumps along the way like it's crazy hard at the start uh especially on tactician man you walk up to a guy you're like i mean uh, i'm a i'm a melee character let me get in his face you get up in his face and he kills you in like yeah yeah rah, rah, and you just die instantly like what the fuck was i supposed to do man act yeah act one is fucking tough man it's tough act two is is not i feel like act two wasn't as tough as act one there were definitely some bosses in Act 3 that were pretty tough, for sure. But yeah, this was a fantastic game. Um, uh, I'd, I'd recommend it to everybody. If you, I mean, I don't think I need to recommend it to anybody here. I think you guys probably either all played it, or you really want to play it, or you've already beaten it already, possibly once. Um, I don't know. If you don't like turn-based stuff, then, you know, so be it. But uh, it's an amazing game, for sure. Uh, thank you, Infidel Dog, for 45 months. Such thank a good game. Much. I'm glad you put in the 100s of hours to finish it. I don't know my total play time is probably less than 100 for sure maybe like 80 90 hours to play it and i think i did a lot uh i think the, the stuff i missed the most of i think was act one and act two i think that's where i missed the most you have a favorite battle encounter you know water birds uh you know what i missed the most i actually miss the ass kicking i was getting in the beginning of the game man because it felt like insanely tactical you know what i mean i kind of missed the ass kicking i got at the first on the first act uh, once I actually got, like, all my spells and shit, and, like, once I got, like, you know, Gavnon's whipping out these fucking divine, divine strikes and shit. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was a ton of fun. Honor, yeah, I, like, you kind of, you just kind of ran over everybody in the early game. The early game kicked my ass, man. Even the little fucking shitty goblins, it feels impossible to hit them. The secret boss in Act 3 is about as hard as Act 3 as any boss in Act 1. Let's see, I, in Act 3, I fought the giant robots. I fought the uh, dragon. I fought, obviously, the Orin and uh, Morpha, whatever his name was. And uh, then we, I, so I, I, don't, I don't know, maybe I also fought Raphael. So I don't know, Gortas, that was it, not Morpha. <laughs> a hag refight in Act 3. Is there a hag refight? Is that it? Uh, man, the hag kicked my ass at the beginning of the game. I couldn't even hit her. It was crazy. I missed a big chunk of Act 3 by getting the last light in kill. I didn't get the last light in killed. You're supposed to protect this bitch who fucking runs out of the room and gets killed. And it's like, ah, oh, too bad. You lose. It's like, excuse me? I was supposed to help? She ran. We're in a room surrounded. She runs out of the fucking room. Everybody dies. Like, that's not my fault. You can do that area without doing that battle. That was not my fault. And then the other chick who's supposed to join you, she also gets herself fucking killed. Not my fault. Yeah, I, I didn't reload. I didn't reload because I felt like the game what like wanted you to live with your consequences, right? That's I, I, I that's what I, I felt about it. But uh, if you have Carlac in your party, she will vol volunteer to become the mind flayer. Interesting, interesting. I probably still would have made Orpheus become the mind flayer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, RM Mod, thank you for the 76 months. Thank you very much. No, I never had Jahara. Apparently, there's you, at the beginning of the game, you can choose either Halzen or the other character. I never got the other character. Um, Gale, I obviously is dead in the fucking ditch somewhere. So, <laughs> did the game at the end of Act Two if you let Gale blow up Minthara? Right, right. Did you fight the asshole mage? Which asshole mage? Matt Mercer's character to Dale. What happened to Minsk? I don't know Minsk. Who's Minsk? You became the the mind flayer for your muscle mommy. I see you didn't get Minsk. I don't know who that is. Yeah, I dude. 
I guarantee you, if you're watching, I guarantee you, you did stuff I didn't do, and I did stuff you didn't do, because that's like the nature of the game. That's the nature of the game. You never met him? No, I never met him. You missed uh, Minsk. You missed a lot. I don't know. I, never, I don't know Minsk. I don't think we ever even met her. What do you think about the characters? I think um, a long time ago, I had a, I was at a writer's workshop, and the the person that was leading the writer's workshop said that like the plot of your story doesn't like matter like the plot the plot's there but the thing that matters the most are the characters and i feel like if you like baldur's gate story there's probably a really good odds that you really like the characters so, oh hello baby like the characters are the strongest are, are one of the strongest aspects of this game like they all they all kind of have their sort of bioware archetypes like asterion and you know he's like the evil one that sort of thing but yeah, I mean, they're all, um, they're all interesting, you know, they're all, they're all really fun. They all kind of have their arcs that they go through, uh, you know, like, uh, Lazel stops being such like a ferocious, she kind of calms down and, you know, becomes more wise from it all. And Shadowheart finds out who she is. Asterion, we, we let Asteria become super evil. And then Gale had an impressive arc where he arced through the sky and went into the fucking into the ditch where we threw him. So every character had its arc throughout the whole game. Yeah, well, right. Everybody, every character has their arc. So, <laughs> uh, Teddy B, thank you for the forty-three months. Thank you very much. Thank you, RM Mod, for the seventy-six months. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, Shadow Arts even more, but you need a Baldur's few more Gate tries. Except Halsen. Uh, yeah, I didn't really use Halsen very much. Actually, I don't think I ever used it. I liked Raphael. I wanted to side with Raphael because I wanted to see like what would happen. Honestly, he was like he seemed cool. I liked the way he was written and stuff. I was like, yeah, I kind of want to do that. Any plans for another playthrough down the road? Maybe, but probably not for quite some time. Probably not for quite some time. Yeah, I never really used him much. What do you think of the third act? Is it a letdown compared to the other ones? No, no, I don't think so. I think that the acts are very different ultimately. Um, and uh, I don't think Act 3 was a letdown. I also think Act 3 had probably the best concentration of cool boss fights in the game. Like, uh, the robot was cool. Uh, I think Gortash was, like, Gortash ended so fast, they didn't realize. I think, uh, uh, Raphael was a really good boss fight. The brain fight was pretty cool. Um, Orin was really cool. So, yeah, like, that's all. The boss fights in Act 3 probably were the best part of it, for sure. More of a sandbox compared to Act 1 and Act 2. And uh, has, uh, yeah, I definitely liked Act 3. I mean, like, really, like, in the end, if every act is the same, then they're not going to differentiate from one another. You know what I mean? Like, the acts have to kind of be, you know, they have to kind of be different. You have Kaizo on the tag. Motherfucker, I have played 10,000 hours of Kaizo Mario. I think I can have the fucking Kaizo tag in my stream. You fuck. I think I'm allowed. The Ketherick fight was sick. That was sick. Yeah, for sure. How many hours on my first play? I think it was like, I want to say 80, 90 hours. Let's say 80, 90. They're not the same. I think I fucking earned it. <laughs> Nobody ever praises the tags. Illegal. Is it a 10 out of 10 for you? I don't know. Like little things like quibble with it. Um, some glitchiness here and there. Some things not working. The difficulty being like kind of all over the place um you know i don't know um I, I i don't know what i would rate it for sure maybe like a nine and a half nine out of ten minor things i earned the bald welcome tag do i agree with game of the year status oh uh, it would be it, i would be a tough choice if i was forced to choose between this and resident evil 4 remake i love resident evil 4 remake to death i love it to death yeah it's an amazing game it's an amazing game really really fun Mention one thing, you soft fuck, now ban me. Nah, you're not really worth my time. Uh, it's not a 10, but it's maybe the get best game of this genre ever. Uh, yeah, I could, I could definitely see that for sure. How much of that is nostalgia? What, Resident Evil 4 Remake? The remake came out last year. How would I be nostalgic for it? I also, like, I don't know if you know this, I'm not, like, a big fan of the original Resident Evil 4. I, f I feel like the original Resident Evil 4 is wildly overrated by its fans. Like, that, I, I didn't play the original Resident Evil 4 when it came out. I didn't play that. How do you compare Elden Ring? Right, I mean, it's, it's really hard to compare games in the end. Yeah, for sure. I'd say like a nine or a nine and a half for sure. I'd also like, man, 
you wouldn't think like a game like this would be incredibly replayable but it really is because like holy shit like i, I feel like i barely i feel like i have experienced like five percent of the classes you know like warlocks and spells and like all the shit mages like I, I feel like I barely touched anything you know you're on your fourth run Mo yeah monk right yeah monk you did fuck all of the spells it's because Gale kept fucking dying in the beginning of the game I was like I was running around with Gale like everybody else I was running around and Gale would be boom 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 dead like all like five enemies they I think because I was so low level I would always have the disadvantage in a fight, right? Everybody would know I was coming, right? So then I didn't have time to like, it was just like they would run up to Gale, run past my tanks, run up to Gale and fucking beat his ass. I was like, you know, fuck this. I'm taking out Lazel. I'm taking out this. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm putting his ass away. He's, he, I, I don't even have a fucking chance to do anything. Right, yeah, yeah. Now, I didn't know that maybe I should have had mage armor on him, like, constantly, perhaps. Uh, fighter, yeah, Lazel was an ass kicker, for sure. Uh, Karlak was tanky as fuck. Gabnon was really good at hitting one thing. Not, like, AoE. Shadowheart's the spirit, spirit, the spirit guardians or whatever, that was really useful in some fights. And she was obviously the only fucking healer I had, so. You love tanks. On Tactician, the enemies know very well what you... Yeah, they know. It kind of feels like Darkest Dungeon where the enemy is targeting... They're targeting your guy with, like, the most stress is what that kind of feels like. Dude, I, I'm, I, I like Asterion. I think he's super fun. It's fun to have the character who's, like, the, the asshole to have their perspective on them. I love running HK47 in, uh, in Knights of Republic. Like, I love having him, honestly. I love having him around. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't, the only reason I ever put him away and took out Lazel is because I was going into like a Lazel story part. And then I just kind of, I just kind of ended up going with that for a while, but I'm really glad I brought it back out for the end. Playing with friends this week, weekly makes replaying this. So it'd be fun to do like four player co-op in this. That'd be crazy, man. That would be wild. I can't even imagine what four player co-op would be. That'd be wild. You one of my favorite characters ever. He can have a really satisfying character arc. Yeah, he probably becomes, he probably like grows and learns as a character if you don't let him become the super vampire. You know, like he probably is like, you know what? I was probably right. I probably shouldn't have become the super vampire. But he probably becomes, he probably has like more of an arc and he's like, you know, you're right to not let me do that. He becomes much nicer. Instead, we just let him like, yeah, go ahead and become like the biggest asshole ever. Did you use Karlak when you fought Gortash? I did not, but I did bring her to see Gortash's corpse. I did that. George. Everybody starts as a peasant, but a fighter ends as Achilles and mages end as Zeus. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> All right, well, chat, uh, we finished Baldur's Gate 3. We're done. What a fucking amazing, what an amazing game. I had a ton of fun. Not everybody's cup of tea, I know, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hanging. I'll be back streaming tonight. Hopefully, I will see you guys then. Let's go find somebody who's streaming and let's go raid somebody. Oh, wait, there's a oh wait, there's a post-credit scene. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. There's a post-credit scene. One second. Let's watch it. Can I like skip this? There thou art, the dead three. Thy face is gone. Thy actions barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flayers. Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be, yet thou hast proven thyself fools. Everyone. The supplication of Bane, the whimper of Baal, the death mule of Merkel, felled by mortals. I overestimated thee. They did not. Vermin, away. 
Thou wilt trouble us. Is he no. back where he was in the beginning of the game? Was this behind him at the start, actually? Was that like always there? That's so cool. So like, essentially the gods knew what these three were doing in their plan and essentially like Wer Werther's and us, we were working out the gods will to like stop them. So we were all part of their plan to, to do all that, which is awesome, which is also awesome. He's the old God of the dead, is he? You can insight check something is up with Werther's, but it's a high passive check. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, fantastic game. If I ever did play again, it would be like a totally different class. And I try to make like completely different decisions and use totally different hopes. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Now I'm really gone now. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out. Let's go give somebody 